The Book of Psalms, Tehillim, Chapter One. Blessed is the man who shall not walk in the counsel of the wrong, and shall not stand in the path of sinners, and shall not sit in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the Torah of Yahuwah, and he meditates in his Torah day and night, for he shall be as a tree planted by the rivers of water that yields its fruit in its season, and whose leaf does not wither, and whatever he does prospers. The wrong are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind blows away. Therefore the wrong shall not rise in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For Yahuwah knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wrong comes to naught. Chapter 2 Why do the nations rage, and the peoples meditate emptiness? The sovereigns of the earth take their stand, and the rulers take counsel together against Yahuwah and against his Messiah, and say, Let us tear apart their bonds and throw away their ropes from us. He who is sitting in the heavens laughs. Yahuwah mocks at them. Then he speaks to them in his wrath and troubles them in his rage, saying, But I, I have set my sovereign on Zion, my set-apart mountain. I inscribe for a law. Yahuwah has said to me, You are my son. Today I have brought you forth. Ask of me, and I make the nations your inheritance, and the ends of the earth your possession. Break them with a rod of iron, dash them to pieces like a potter's vessel. And now, be wise, O sovereigns. Be instructed, you rulers of the earth. Serve Yahuwah with fear, and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the chosen, lest he be enraged, and you perish in the way. For soon his wrath is to be kindled. Blessed are all those taking refuge in him. Chapter 3 O Yahuwah, how my adversaries have increased! Many rising up against me, many are saying of me, There is no deliverance for him in Elohim. Selah. But you, O Yahuwah, are a shield for me, my esteem and the one lifting up my head. I cried to Yahuwah with my voice, and he heard me from his set-apart mountain, Selah. I, I lay down and slept. I awoke, for Yahuwah sustained me. I am not afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Yahuwah, save me, O my Elohim, because you have stricken all my enemies on the cheek. You have broken the teeth of the wrong. Deliverance belongs to Yahuwah. Your blessing is on your people. Selah. Chapter 4 Answer me when I call, O Elohim of my righteousness. You gave relief to me when I was in distress. Show favor to me and hear my prayer. Till when, O you sons of men, would you turn my esteem to shame? Would you love emptiness, seek falsehood? Selah. But know that Yahuwah has separated a loving committed one for himself. Yahuwah hears when I call to him. Tremble and do not sin. Speak within your heart on your bed and be still. Selah. Slaughter slaughterings of righteousness and trust in Yahuwah. Many are saying, who would show us good? Yahuwah, lift up the light of your face upon us. You have put more gladness in my heart than in the season that their grain and wine increased. I lie down in peace altogether and sleep. For you alone, O Yahuwah, make me dwell in safety. Chapter 5 Give ear to my words, O Yahuwah. 
Consider my meditation. Attend to the voice of my cry, my sovereign and my Elohim, for unto you I pray. O Yahuwah, in the morning you hear my voice. I present myself to you in the morning, and I look up. For you are not an El, taking delight in wrong, nor does evil sojourn with you. The boasters do not stand before your eyes. You hate all workers of wickedness. You destroy those speaking falsehood. Yahuwah loathes a man of blood and deceit. But I, I enter your house. In the greatness of your loving commitment, I bow myself toward your set-apart hakal in your fear. O Yahuwah, lead me in your righteousness because of those watching me. Make your way straight before my face, for there is no stability in their mouth. Their inward part is destruction. Their throat is an open burial site. They flatter with their tongue. Declare them guilty, O Elohim. Let them fall by their own counsels. Thrust them away for their many transgressions, because they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because you shelter them. And let those who love your name Exult in you, for you bless the righteous, O Yahuwah. You surround him with favor as with a shield. Chapter 6 O Yahuwah, do not rebuke me in your displeasure, nor discipline me in your wrath. Show favor to me, O Yahuwah, for I am fading away. O Yahuwah, heal me, for my bones have been troubled and my being has been greatly troubled. And you, O Yahuwah, till when? Return, O Yahuwah, rescue my life. Oh, save me for your loving commitment's sake, for in death there is no remembrance of you. Who gives you thanks in Sheol? I have grown weary with my groaning every night. I flood my bed. I drench my couch with my tears. My eye has grown dim because of grief. It grows old because of all my adversaries. Depart from me, all you workers of wickedness. For Yahuwah has heard the voice of my weeping. Yahuwah has heard my pleading. Yahuwah receives my prayer. Let all my enemies be ashamed and greatly troubled. They turn back suddenly, ashamed. Chapter 7 O Yahuwah, my Elohim, in you I have taken refuge. Save me from all my pursuers and deliver me, lest they tear at my throat like a lion, rending in pieces with no one to deliver. O oh, Yahuwah, my Elohim, if I have done this, if there is unrighteousness in my hands, if I have done evil to him who was at peace with me, or have plundered my enemy without cause, let the enemy pursue me and overtake my being, and trample my life to the ground, and lay my esteem in the dust. Selah. Arise, O Yahuwah, in your displeasure, lift yourself up against the rage of my adversaries, and awake for me. You shall command judgment, and let the congregation of the peoples gather about you, and over them return on high. Yahuwah judges the peoples. Judge me, O Yahuwah, according to my righteousness, and according to my integrity within me. Please let the evil of the wrong be ended and establish the righteous. For the righteous Elohim is a trier of hearts and kidneys. My shield is upon Elohim, who saves the upright in heart. Elohim is a righteous judge, and El is enraged every day. If one does not repent, he sharpens his sword, he bends his bow and makes it ready. And he has prepared for himself instruments of death. He makes his arrows hot for pursuers. See he who is bound with wickedness, and has conceived trouble and brought forth falsehood. 
he has made a pit and dug it out, and falls into the ditch he made. His trouble turns back upon his own head, and his wrongdoing comes down on the top of his head. I give thanks to Yahuwah according to his righteousness, and praise the name of Yahuwah Most High. Chapter 8 O Yahuwah, our Master, how excellent is your name in all the earth! You who set your splendor above the heavens, out of the mouth of babes and infants you have founded strength because of your adversaries to put an end to the enemy and avenger. For I see your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have established. What is man that you remember him, and the son of man that you visit him? Yet you have made him a little less than Elohim, and have crowned him with esteem and splendor. You made him rule over the works of your hands. You have put all under his feet, all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the heaven, and the fish of the sea, passing through the paths of the sea. O Yahuwah, our master, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Chapter 9 Aleph I praise you, O Yahuwah, with all my heart. I declare all your wonders. I rejoice and exult in you. I sing praise to your name, O Most High. Bet. When my enemies turn back, they stumble and perish before you, for you executed my right and my cause. You sat on the throne judging in righteousness. Gimel. You have rebuked the nations. You have destroyed the wrong. You have wiped out their name forever and ever. Hey, the enemy is no more. Ruins everlasting, and you have uprooted the cities, even their remembrance has perished. But Yahuwah abides forever. He is preparing his throne for judgment, and he judges the world in righteousness. He judges the people in straightness. Vav. And Yahuwah is a refuge for the crushed one, a refuge in times of distress. And those who know your name trust in you. For you have not forsaken those who seek you, O Yahuwah. Zion. Sing praises to Yahuwah, who dwells in Zion. Declare his deeds among the peoples. For he remembers the seekers of bloodshed. He does not forget the cry of the afflicted. Chet. Show favor to me, O Yahuwah. See my affliction by those who hate me, you who lift me up from the gates of death, so that I declare all your praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion. I rejoice in your deliverance. Tet, the nations have sunk down in the pit which they made, in the net which they hid. Their own foot is caught. Yahuwah has made himself known. He has done right ruling. The wrong is snared in the works of his own hands. Meditation. Selah. Yod. The wrong return to Sheol, all the nations that forget Elohim. Kof. For the needy is not always forgotten, neither the expectancy of the poor lost forever. Arise, O Yahuwah. Do not let man prevail. Let the nations be judged before your face. Put them in fear, O Yahuwah. Let the nations know that they are but men. Selah. Chapter 10 Lamed Why do you stand afar off, O Yahuwah, hiding in times of distress? In arrogance the wrongdoer hotly pursues the poor. They are caught by the schemes which they devise. For the wrongdoer boasted of the cravings of his being and the greedy one he has blessed. He has despised Yahuwah. In the pride of his face, the wrongdoer does not seek him. In all his thoughts, there is no Elohim. His ways are always prosperous. Your right rulings are on high, out of his sight. He snorts at all his adversaries. He has said in his heart, I shall not be moved, 
from generation to generation, never be an evil. Pay. His mouth is filled with cursing and deceit and oppression. Under his tongue is trouble and wickedness. He sits in the hiding places of the villages. In the secret places, he kills the innocent. Ion. His eyes are on the lookout for the helpless. He lies in wait in a secret place. As a lion in his den, he lies in wait to catch the poor. He catches the poor, drawing him into his net. And he crouches, he lies low, and the helpless fall under his strength. He has said in his heart, El has forgotten. He has hidden his face. He shall never see. Kuf. Arise, O Yahuwah, O El, lift up your hand. Do not forget the lowly ones. Why do the wrong scorn Elohim? He has said in his heart, It is not required. Resh, you have seen it, for you observe trouble and grief to repay with your hand. The poor commits himself to you. You are the helper of the fatherless. Sheen, break the arm of the wrong one and the evil one. Search out his wrongness that would not be found out. Yahuwah is sovereign forever and ever. The nation shall perish from his land. Tav. Yahuwah, you have heard the desire of the lowly ones. You prepare their heart. You incline your ear to defend the fatherless and the downtrodden, so that the man who is of the earth no longer oppresses. Chapter 11. In Yahuwah. I have taken refuge. Why do you say to me, flee to your mountain like a bird? For look, the wrong bend a bow. They set their arrow on the string to shoot in darkness at the upright in heart. When the foundations are destroyed, what shall the righteous do? Yahuwah is in his set-apart hekal. The throne of Yahuwah is in the heavens. His eyes see His eyelids examine the sons of men. Yahuwah tries the righteous, but his being shall hate the wrong, and the one who loves violence. Upon the wrong he rains snares. Fire and sulfur and a scorching wind are the portion of their cup. For Yahuwah is righteous. He has loved righteousness. The upright shall see his face. Chapter 12 Save, Yahuwah, for the loving committed one is no more, for the trustworthy have ceased from among the sons of men. They speak falsehood with each other. They speak with flattering lips, a double heart. Yahuwah does cut off all flattering lips, a tongue that speaks swelling words, who have said, With our tongue we do mightily, our lips are our own. Who is master over us? Because of the oppression of the poor, because of the sighing of the needy, I now arise, says Yahuwah. I set in safety, he pants for it. The words of Yahuwah are clean words. Silver tried in a furnace of earth, refined seven times. You guard them, O Yahuwah. You preserve them from this generation forever. The wrong walk around on every side when worthlessness is exalted among the sons of men. Chapter 13 How long would you forget me, O Yahuwah? Forever? How long would you hide your face from me? How long would I take counsel in my being? Grief in my heart day by day. How long would my enemy be exalted over me? Look! Answer me, O Yahuwah, my Elohim. Enlighten my eyes, lest I sleep in death. Lest my enemies say, I have prevailed against him. Lest my adversaries rejoice when I am moved. But I have trusted in your loving commitment. My heart rejoices in your deliverance. I sing to Yahuwah, because he has been good to me. Chapter 14 The fool has said in his heart, There is no Yahuwah. 
They have done corruptly. They have done an abominable deed. There is no one who does good. Yahuwah looked down from the heavens on the sons of mankind to see if there was a wise one seeking Yahuwah. They have all turned aside. They have together become filthy. No one is doing good, not even one. Have all the workers of wickedness no knowledge who eat up my people as they eat bread and do not call on Yahuwah? There they are in great fear, for Yahuwah is with the generation of the righteous. You would put to shame the counsel of the poor, but Yahuwah is his refuge. Oh, that the deliverance of Yisrael would be given out of Zion when Yahuwah turns back the captivity of his people. Let Yaakov rejoice. Let Yisrael be glad. Chapter 15 Yahuwah, who does sojourn in your tent? Who does dwell in your set-apart mountain? He who walks blamelessly and does righteousness and speaks the truth in his heart. He has not slandered with his tongue. He has not done evil to his neighbor, nor lifted up a reproach against his friend, in whose eyes a reprobate one is despised. But he esteems those who fear Yahuwah, he who swears to his own hurt and does not change. He has not put out his silver at interest and has not taken a bribe against the innocent. He who does these is never moved. Chapter 16 Guard me, O El, for I have taken refuge in you. I have said to Yahuwah, You are Yahuwah, I have no good beside you. As for the set-apart ones who are on the earth, they are the excellent ones, in whom is all my delight. The sorrows of those who run after one another are increased. I would not pour out their drink offerings of blood, nor take up their names on my lips. Yahuwah is the portion of my inheritance and my cup. You uphold my lot. Boundary lines have fallen to me in pleasant places. Indeed, a good inheritance is mine. I bless Yahuwah who has given me counsel. My kidneys also instruct me in the nights. I have set Yahuwah always before me, because He is at my right hand. I am not shaken. Therefore my heart was glad, and my esteem rejoices. My flesh also dwells in safety, for you do not leave my being in Sheol. Neither let your loving committed one see corruption. You show me the path of life. In your presence is joy to satisfaction." At your right hand are pleasures forever. Chapter 17 Hear righteousness, Yahuwah. Listen to my cry. Give ear to my prayer from lips without deceit. Let my right ruling go out from your presence. Let your eyes see what is straight. You have examined my heart. You have visited me in the night. You have tried me. You find I have not schemed. My mouth would not transgress. As for the deeds of men, by the words of your lips, I have kept myself from the paths of the destroyer. My steps have held fast to your paths. My feet have not slipped. I have called upon you, for you answer me, O El. Incline your ear to me. Hear my speech. Let your loving commitment be distinguished. You who save by your right hand those who take refuge from those who rise up. Guard me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings from the face of the wrong who ravage me, from my deadly enemies who surround me. They are enclosed in their own fat. They speak proudly with their mouths. They have now surrounded us in our steps. They set their eyes to cast us to the ground like a lion who is eager to tear his prey, and as a young lion crouching in cover. Arise, O Yahuwah, confront him, cause him to bend. Deliver my being from the wrong by your sword, from men by your hand, O Yahuwah, from men of the world, whose portion is in this life. You fill their bellies with your treasure. 
they are satisfied with children and shall leave their riches to their babes. As for me, let me see your face in righteousness. I am satisfied to see your appearance when I awake. Chapter 18 I love you, O Yahuwah, my strength. Yahuwah is my rock and my stronghold and my deliverer. My El is my rock. I take refuge in Him. My shield and the horn of my deliverance. My high tower. I call upon Yahuwah, the one to be praised, and I am saved from my enemies. The cords of death surrounded me, and the floods of Belial made me afraid. The cords of Sheol were all around me. The snares of death were before me. In my distress I called upon Yahuwah, and to my Elohim I cried. He heard my voice from his Hekal, and my cry went before him into his ears. And the earth shook and trembled, even the foundations of the mountains were troubled, and they shook because he was wroth. Smoke went up from his nostrils and consuming fire from his mouth. Coals were kindled by it, and he bowed the heavens and came down. And thick darkness was under his feet, and he rode upon a cherub and flew. He flew upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his covering, around him his booth. Darkness of waters, thick clouds of the skies, from the brightness before him. His thick clouds passed, hail and coals of fire. And Yahuwah thundered in the heavens, and the Most High sent forth his voice hail and coals of fire, and he sent out his arrows and scattered them, and much lightning and confused them. And the channels of water were seen, and the foundations of the world were uncovered. At your rebuke, O Yahuwah, at the blast of the breath of your nostrils, he sent me from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters." He delivered me from my strong enemy and from those hating me, for they were stronger than I. They confronted me in the day of my calamity, but Yahuwah was my support, and he brought me out into a large place. He delivered me, for he delighted in me. Yahuwah rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands. He repaid me, for I have guarded the ways of Yahuwah and have not acted wrongly against my Elohim. For all his right rulings are before me, and I did not turn from his laws, and I am perfect before him, and I guard myself from my crookedness. And Yahuwah repays me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands before his eyes. With the lovingly committed, you show yourself lovingly committed. With the perfect one, you show yourself perfect. With the clean, you show yourself clean. And with the crooked, you show yourself twisted. You save the afflicted people, but bring down those whose eyes are haughty. For you yourself light my lamp. Yahuwah, my Elohim, makes my darkness light. For with you, I run against a band. And with my Elohim, I leap over a wall. The El... His way is perfect. The word of Yahuwah is proven. He is a shield to all who take refuge in him. For who is Eloah besides Yahuwah? And who is a rock except our Elohim? It is El who girds me with strength and makes my way perfect, making my feet like the feet of a deer and sets me on my high places, teaching my hands for battle so that my arm shall bend a bow of bronze. And you give me the shield of your deliverance. And your right hand supports me, and your lowliness makes me great. You enlarge my step under me, and my feet shall not slip. I pursue my enemies and overtake them, and do not turn back till they are destroyed. I crush them, and they are unable to rise." They fall under my feet, and you gird me with strength for battle. Cause my adversaries to bow under me.
and you have made my enemies turn their backs. As for those hating me, I cut them off. They cry, but no one is there to save. To Yahuwah, but he answers them not. And I beat them as dust before the wind. I empty them out like dirt in the streets. You deliver me from the strivings of the people. You set me at the head of the nations. A people I have not known serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they obey me. The foreigners submit to me. The foreigners fade away and come frightened from their strongholds. Yahuwah lives, and blessed is my rock, and exalted is the Elohim of my deliverance. The El, who gives vengeance to me, and he humbles the peoples under me, my deliverer from my enemies. You lift me up above those who rise against me. You deliver me from a man of violence. Therefore I give thanks to you, O Yahuwah, among nations, and I sing praise to your name, making great the deliverance of his sovereign and showing loving commitment to his anointed, to David and his seed forever. Chapter 19 The heavens are proclaiming the esteem of El, and the expanse is declaring the work of his hand. Day to day pours forth speech, and night to night reveals knowledge. There is no speech, and there are no words. Their voice is not heard. Their line has gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them he set up a tent for the sun, and it is like a bridegroom coming out of his room. It rejoices like a strong man to run the path. Its rising is from one end of the heavens, and its circuit to the other end, and naught is hidden from its heat. The Torah of Yahuwah is perfect, bringing back the being. The witness of Yahuwah is trustworthy, making wise the simple. The orders of Yahuwah are straight, rejoicing the heart. The command of Yahuwah is clear, enlightening the eyes. The fear of Yahuwah is clean, standing forever. The right rulings of Yahuwah are true. They are righteous altogether, more desirable than gold, than much fine gold, and sweeter than honey and the honeycomb. Also, your servant is warned by them. In guarding them, there is great reward. Who discerns mistakes? Declare me innocent from those that are secret. Also keep your servant back from presumptuous ones. Do not let them rule over me. Then shall I be perfect and innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing before you, O Yahuwah, my rock and my redeemer. Chapter 20 Yahuwah does answer you in the day of distress. The name of the Elohim of Jacob does set you on high. He does send you help from the set of heart place and does uphold you from Zion. He does remember all your offerings and does accept your ascending offering, Selah. He does give you according to your heart and fills all your plans. We sing of your deliverance. And in the name of our Elohim, we set up a banner. Yahuwah does fill all your requests. Now I know that Yahuwah shall save his anointed. He answers him from his set-apart heavens with the saving might of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we remember the name of Yahuwah, our Elohim. They, they have bowed down and fallen, but we have risen and are established Save Yahuwah. Let the sovereign answer us in the day we call. Chapter 21 The sovereign rejoices in your strength and how greatly he exalts in your deliverance. You have given him the desire of his heart and you have not withheld the request of his lips. Selah. For you put before him the blessings of goodness. You set a crown of fine gold on his head. 
He asked life from you and you gave it to him. Length of days forever and ever. Through your deliverance, his esteem is great. You have laid excellency and splendor on him, for you have made him most blessed forever. You have made him glad with the joy of your presence, for the sovereign is trusting in Yahuwah. And through the loving commitment of the Most High, he is not moved. Your hand reaches all your enemies. Your right hand reaches those who hate you. You make them as a furnace of fire in the time of your presence. Yahuwah does swallow them up in his wrath, and fire does consume them. You destroy their fruit from the earth, and their seed from among the sons of men. For they held out evil against you. They devised a plot. They do not prevail. For you make them turn their back when you aim with your bowstring toward their faces. Be exalted, O Yahuwah, in your strength. We sing and we praise your might. Chapter 22 My El, my El, why have you forsaken me? Far from saving me, far from the words of my groaning. O my Elohim, I call by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but I find no rest. Yet you are set apart, enthroned on the praises of Yisrael. Our fathers trusted in you. They trusted and you delivered them. They cried to you and were delivered. They trusted in you and were not ashamed. But I am a worm and no man, a reproach of men and despised by the people. All those who see me mock me. They shoot out the lip, they shake the head, saying, He trusted in Yahuwah. Let him rescue him. Let him deliver him, seeing he has delighted in him. For you are the one who took me out of the womb, causing me to trust while on my mother's breasts. I was cast upon you from birth. From my mother's belly you have been my El. Do not be far from me, for distress is near, for there is none to help. Many bowls have surrounded me. Strong ones of Bashan have encircled me. They have opened their mouths against me as a raging and roaring lion. I have been poured out like water, and all my bones have been spread apart. My heart has become like wax. It has melted in the midst of my inward parts. My strength is dried like a potsherd, and my tongue is cleaving to my jaws. And to the dust of death you are appointing me. For dogs have surrounded me. A crowd of evil ones have encircled me, piercing my hands and my feet. I count all my bones. They look, they stare at me, they divide my garments among them, and for my raiment they cast lots. But you, O Yahuwah, do not be far off. O my strength, hasten to help me, deliver my life from the sword, my only life from the power of the dog. Save me from the mouth of the lion and from the horns of the wild beasts. You have answered me. I make known your name to my brothers. In the midst of the assembly, I praise you. You who fear Yahuwah, praise him. All you seed of Yaakov, esteem him and fear him. All you seed of Yisrael, for he has not despised, nor hated the affliction of the afflicted, nor has he hidden his face from him. But when he cried to him, he heard From you is my praise in the great assembly. I pay my vows before those who fear him. The meek ones do eat and are satisfied. Let those who seek him praise Yahuwah. Let your heart live forever. Let all the ends of the earth remember and turn to Yahuwah. And all the clans of the nations bow themselves before you. For the rain belongs to Yahuwah. And he is ruling over the nations. All the fat ones of the earth shall eat and bow themselves. All who go down to the dust bow before him, even he who did not keep alive his own life. A seed shall serve him. It is declared of Yahuwah to the coming generation. They shall come and declare his righteousness to a people yet to be born, for he shall do it. 
Chapter 23 Yahuwah is my shepherd. I do not lack. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He turns back my being. He leads me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. When I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread before me a table in the face of my enemies. You have anointed my head with oil. My cup runs over. Only goodness and loving commitment follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of Yahuwah to the length of days. Chapter 24 The earth belongs to Yahuwah and all that fills it, the world and those who dwell in it. For He has founded it upon the seas, and upon the waters He does establish it. Who does go up into the mountain of Yahuwah, and who does stand in His set-apart place? He who has innocent hands and a clean heart, who did not bring his life to naught, and did not swear deceivingly. He receives a blessing from Yahuwah and righteousness from the Elohim of his deliverance. This is the generation of those who seek him, Yaakob, who seek your face, Selah. Lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and let the sovereign of esteem come in. Who is this sovereign of esteem? Yahuwah, strong and mighty. Yahuwah, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O you gates. Even lift up, you everlasting doors. And let the sovereign of esteem come in. Who is this sovereign of esteem? Yahuwah of hosts. He is the sovereign of esteem. Selah. Chapter 25 Aleph To you, O Yahuwah, I lift up my being. Bet O my Elohim, in you I have put my trust. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies exalt over me. Gimel Indeed, let no one who waits on you be ashamed. Let those who are treacherous without cause be ashamed. Dalit Show me your ways, O Yahuwah. Teach me your paths. Hey, lead me in your truths. Vav, and teach me. For you are the Elohim of my deliverance. On you I wait all the day. Zion, remember, O Yahuwah, your compassion and your loving commitments, for they are from everlasting. Chet, do not remember the sins of my youth. And my transgressions, according to your loving commitment, remember me. For your goodness sake, O Yahuwah. Tet, good and straight is Yahuwah. Therefore he teaches sinners in the way. Yod, he guides the meek ones in right ruling. And he teaches the meek ones his way. Kof, all the paths of Yahuwah are loving commitment and truth to those who guard his covenant and his witnesses. Lamed, for your name's sake, O Yahuwah, you shall pardon my crookedness, though it is great. Mem, who then is the man that fears Yahuwah? He teaches him in the way he should choose. Nun, his life dwells in good, and his seed inherits the earth. Samach, The secret of Yahuwah is with those who fear him, and he makes his covenant known to them. Ayan, my eyes are ever toward Yahuwah, for he brings my feet out of the net. Pay, turn your face to me and show me favor, for I am lonely and afflicted. Zadi, the distresses of my heart have enlarged. Oh, bring me out of my distresses. Resh, Look on my affliction and my toil, and forgive all my sins. Resh, see how many my enemies have become, and they hate me with a violent hatred. Sheen, 
O oh, guard my life and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I have taken refuge in you. Tav, let integrity and straightness guard me, for I have waited for you. Redeem Yisrael, O Elohim, out of all his distresses. Chapter 26 Rule me rightly, O Yahuwah, for I have walked in my integrity, and I have trusted in Yahuwah without wavering. Examine me, O Yahuwah, and prove me. Try my kidneys and my heart. For your loving commitment is before my eyes, and I have walked in your truth. I have not sat with men of falsehood, nor do I enter with pretenders. I have hated the assembly of evildoers, and I do not sit with the wrong. I wash my hands in innocence, and I walk around your slaughter place, O Yahuwah, to raise a voice of thanksgiving and to declare all your wonders. Yahuwah, I have loved the abode of your house, and the place where your esteem dwells. Do not gather my being together with sinners, nor my life with bloodthirsty men, in whose hands is a plot, and their right hand is filled with bribes. But as for me, I walk in my integrity. Redeem me and show me favor. My foot shall stand on a level place. In the assemblies, I bless Yahuwah. Chapter 27 Yahuwah is my light and my deliverance. Whom should I fear? Yahuwah is the refuge of my life. Whom should I dread? When evildoers come against me to eat up my flesh, my adversaries and my enemies, they shall stumble and fall. Though an army encamps against me, my heart does not fear. Though battle comes against me, even then I would be trusting. One matter I ask of Yahuwah, this I seek, to dwell in the house of Yahuwah all the days of my life, to see the pleasantness of Yahuwah and to inquire in his Hekal. For in the day of evil, he hides me in his booth. In the covering of his tent, he hides me. On a rock, he raises me up, and now my head is lifted up above my enemies all around me. And I slaughter in his tent with slaughters of sounding. I sing, yes, I sing praises to Yahuwah. Hear, O Yahuwah, when I cry with my voice. And show me favor and answer me. To my heart you have said, Seek my face. Your face, Yahuwah, I seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in displeasure. You have been my help. Do not leave me nor forsake me, O Elohim of my deliverance. When my father and my mother have forsaken me, then Yahuwah does take me in. Teach me your way, O Yahuwah, and lead me in a smooth path because of my enemies. Do not give me over to the desire of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and they breathe out cruelty to me. What if I had not believed to see the goodness of Yahuwah in the land of the living? Wait on Yahuwah. Be strong and let him strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on Yahuwah. Chapter 28 I cry to you, O Yahuwah, my rock. Do not be deaf to me. For if you are silent to me, I shall be like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my prayers when I cry to you, when I lift up my hands towards your set-apart speaking place. Do not draw me away with the wrong and with the workers of wickedness who speak peace to their neighbors, but evil is in their hearts. Give to them according to their deeds and according to the evil of their practices. Give to them according to the work of their hands. Bring back to them what they deserve, because they do not heed the works of Yahuwah nor the works of his hands. He throws them down and does not build them up. Blessed be Yahuwah, because he has heard the voice of my prayers. Yahuwah is my strength and my shield. My heart has trusted in him, and I have been helped. 
Therefore my heart exults, and with my song I thank him. Yahuwah is the strength of his people, and he is the stronghold of deliverance of his anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance, and be their shepherd, and bear them up forever. Chapter 29 Ascribe to Yahuwah, O you sons of the mighty, Ascribe to Yahuwah esteem and strength. Ascribe to Yahuwah the esteem of his name. Bow yourselves to Yahuwah in the splendor of set-apartness. The voice of Yahuwah is over the waters. The L of esteem thunders. Yahuwah is over many waters. The voice of Yahuwah is with power. The voice of Yahuwah is with greatness. The voice of Yahuwah is breaking the cedars. Yahuwah is breaking the cedars of Lebanon in pieces, and he makes them skip like a calf. Lebanon and Syrian, like a young wild ox. The voice of Yahuwah cuts through the flames of fire. The voice of Yahuwah shakes the wilderness. Yahuwah shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of Yahuwah makes the deer give birth and strips the forests bare. And in his hakal, everyone says, Esteem! Yahuwah sat enthroned at the flood, and Yahuwah sits as sovereign forever. Yahuwah gives strength to his people. Yahuwah blesses his people with peace. Chapter 30 I exalt you, O Yahuwah, for you have drawn me up and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. Yahuwah, my Elohim, I have cried to you and you have healed me. Yahuwah, you brought me up from Sheol. You have kept me alive from going down into the pit. Sing praise to Yahuwah, your lovingly committed ones of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his set-apartness. For his displeasure is for a moment. His delight is for life. Weeping might last for the night. But joy comes in the morning. As for me, I have said in my ease, Never would I be shaken. Yahuwah, in your good pleasure, You have made my mountain to stand strong. You hid your face, and I was troubled. I cried out to you, O Yahuwah, And to Yahuwah I prayed. What gain is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Would dust praise you? Would it declare your truth? Hear, O Yahuwah, and show me favor. Yahuwah, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing for me. You have torn off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness, so that esteem might praise you and not be silent. O Yahuwah, my Elohim, I thank you forever. Chapter 31 In you, O Yahuwah, I have taken refuge. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be a rock of refuge to me, a house of defense to save me. For you are my rock and my stronghold. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Bring me out of the net which they have hidden for me, for you are my stronghold. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Yahuwah, El of truth. I have hated those who observe lying vanities, but I trust in Yahuwah. I exalt and rejoice in your loving commitment, for you have seen my affliction. You have known the distresses of my life and you have not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet in a large place. Show me favor, O Yahuwah, for I am in distress. My eye, my being, and my body have become old with grief, for my life is consumed in sorrow, and my years in sighing. <sighs> My strength fails because of my crookedness, and my bones have become old. 
I am a reproach among all my adversaries, but most of all among my neighbors, and a dread to my friends. Those who see me outside flee from me. I have been forgotten like someone dead from the heart. I have been like a missing vessel, for I hear the evil report of many. Fear is from all around. When they take counsel together against me, they plot to take away my life. But I, I have put my trust in you, O Yahuwah. I have said, You are my Elohim. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from those who pursue me. Make your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your loving commitment. Do not let me be ashamed, O Yahuwah, for I have called upon you. Let the wrong be ashamed. Let them be silenced in Sheol. Let the lips of falsehood be stilled, which speak recklessly against the righteous with pride and scorn. How great is your goodness, which you have laid up for those fearing you which you have prepared for those taking refuge in you. In the sight of the sons of men, in the secrecy of your presence, you shall hide them from the plots of man. You shelter them in a booth from the strife of tongues. Blessed be Yahuwah, for he has made marvelous his loving commitment to me in a strong city. And I, I have said in my haste, I am cut off from before your eyes. Yet you heard the voice of my prayers when I cried out to you. Love, Yahuwah, all you his loving committed ones. For Yahuwah guards the trustworthy ones and exceedingly repays the doer of pride. Be strong and let him fortify your heart, all you who are waiting for Yahuwah. Chapter 32 Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man to whom Yahuwah imputes no crookedness, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones became old, through my groaning all the day. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My sap was turned into the droughts of summer, Selah. I acknowledged my sin to you, and my crookedness I did not hide. I have said, I confess my transgressions to Yahuwah, and you forgave the crookedness of my sin, Selah. Therefore, let every lovingly committed one pray to you, while you might be found. Even in a flood of great waters, they would not reach him. You are my hiding place. You preserve me from distress. You surround me with songs of deliverance. Selah. Let me instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. Let me counsel. My eye be on you. Do not be like the horse, like the mule, with no understanding, with bit and bridle. Else they do not come near you. Many are the sorrows of the wrong. But as for the one trusting in Yahuwah, loving commitment surrounds him. Be glad in Yahuwah and exult, you righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. Chapter 33 Shout for joy in Yahuwah, you righteous. Praise is fitting for the straight. Praise Yahuwah with the lyre. Sing to him with an instrument of ten strings. Sing to him a new song. Play sweetly with a shout of joy. For the word of Yahuwah is straight, and all his works are in truth. Loving righteousness and right ruling, the earth is filled with the loving commitment of Yahuwah. By the word of Yahuwah, the heavens were made, and all their hosts by the spirit of his mouth gathering the waters of the sea together as a heap, laying up the deep in storehouses. Let all the earth fear Yahuwah. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke, and it came to be. He commanded, and it stood fast. 
Yahuwah brings the counsel of the nations to naught. He thwarts the plans of the peoples. The counsel of Yahuwah stands forever. The plans of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose Elohim is Yahuwah. The people whom he has chosen as his own inheritance. Yahuwah has looked from the heavens. He has seen all the sons of men. He looked from his dwelling place on all the inhabitants of the earth. He who fashions the hearts of them all. He who understands all their works. The sovereign is not saved by the multitude of an army. A mighty man is not delivered by great strength. A horse is a vain means of safety. Neither does it rescue any by its great power. See, the eye of Yahuwah is on those fearing him, on those waiting for his loving commitment to deliver their being from death and to keep them alive during scarcity of food. Our being has longed for Yahuwah. Our help and our shield is He. For our heart does rejoice in Him. For we have put our trust in His set-apart name. Let your loving commitment, O Yahuwah, be upon us, even as we wait for you. Chapter 34 Aleph I bless Yahuwah at all times. His praise is continually in my mouth. Bet. My being makes its boast in Yahuwah. Let the humble hear and be glad. Gimel. Oh, make Yahuwah great with me, and let us exalt his name together. Dalit. I sought Yahuwah, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Hey. They looked to him and were lightened, Vav, and their faces were not ashamed. Zion, this poor one cried out and Yahuwah heard him and saved him out of all his distresses. Chet, the messenger of Yahuwah, encamps all around those who fear him and rescues them. Tet, O oh, taste and see, that Yahuwah is good. Blessed is the man that takes refuge in him. Yod, fear Yahuwah, you his set-apart ones, for there is no lack to them who fear him. Kof, young lions have lacked and been hungry, but those who seek Yahuwah lack not any good matter. Lamed, come you children, listen to me, let me teach you the fear of Yahuwah. Mem. Who is the man who desires life, who loves many days in order to see good? Noon. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Samik. Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Ayan. The eyes of Yahuwah are on the righteous, and his ears unto their cry. Pay. The face of Yahuwah is against evildoers, to cut off their remembrance from the earth. Zadi. The righteous cried out, and Yahuwah heard, and delivered them out of all their distresses. Kof. Yahuwah is near to the brokenhearted and saves those whose spirit is crushed. Resh, many are the evils of the righteous, but Yahuwah delivers him out of them all. Sheen, he is guarding all his bones, not one of them is broken. Tav, evil does slay the wrong, and those who hate the righteous are guilty. Yahuwah redeems the lives of his servants, and none of those taking refuge in him are guilty. Chapter 35 O oh, Yahuwah, strive with those who strive with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of shield and armor, and rise up for my help, and draw out spear and lance to meet those who pursue me. Say to my life, 
I am your deliverance. Let those be ashamed and blush who seek my life. Let those be turned back and abashed who plot evil to me. Let them be as chaff before the wind, with the messenger of Yahuwah driving on. Let their way be dark and slippery, with the messenger of Yahuwah pursuing them. For without cause they hid their net for me. Without cause they dug a pit for my life. Let ruin come upon him unawares, and let his net that he hid catch himself. Let him fall in it into ruin. But let my own being exalt in Yahuwah. Let it rejoice in his deliverance. Let all my bones say, Yahuwah, who is like you? Delivering the poor from one stronger than he and the poor and the needy from him who robs him. Ruthless witnesses rise up. They ask me that which I knew not. They reward me evil for good, bereaving my life. But I, when they were sick, I put on sackcloth. I humbled my being with fastings, and my prayer would return to my own bosom. I walked about as though he were my friend or brother. I bowed down mourning as one mourning for a mother, but they rejoiced at my stumbling and gathered together. The smiters gathered against me, and I did not know it. They tore in pieces without ceasing, with unclean ones, mockers at feasts, gnashing at me with their teeth. Yahuwah, how long would you look on? Rescue my being from their destructions my only life from the lions. I give you thanks in the great assembly. I praise you among a mighty people. Let not my lying enemies rejoice over me, or those who hate me without cause wink their eyes. For they do not speak peace, but they devise words of deceit against the peaceable ones of the land. And they open their mouth wide against me. They said, Aha! Aha! Our eyes have seen it. This you have seen, O Yahuwah. Do not be silent. O Yahuwah, do not be far from me. Stir up yourself and awake to my right ruling, to my cause, my Elohim and my master. Rule me rightly, O Yahuwah, my Elohim, according to your righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Aha! Our desire. Let them not say, We have swallowed him up. Let those who are rejoicing at my evil be ashamed and abashed together. Let those who are exalting themselves over me be clad in shame and humiliation. Let those who delight in my righteous cause shout for joy and be glad. And let them always say, Let Yahuwah be made great who is deserving the peace of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of your righteousness, your praise, all day long. Chapter 36 Transgression speaks to the wrong within his heart. Fear of Elohim is not before his eyes, for he flatters himself in his own eyes to find his crookedness to be hated. The words of his mouth are wickedness and deceit. He has ceased to be wise to do good. He plots wickedness on his bed. He sets himself in a way that is not good. He does not despise evil. O Yahuwah, your loving commitment is in the heavens, and your trustworthiness reaches to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the mighty mountains. Your right rulings are a great deep. O Yahuwah, you save man and beast. How precious is your loving commitment, O Elohim. And the sons of men take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They are filled from the fatness of your house, and you give them drink from the river of your pleasures. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. Draw out your loving commitment to those who know you and your righteousness to the upright in heart. Let not the foot of pride come against me and the hand of the wrong drives me away. There the workers of wickedness have fallen. They have been overthrown. 
and have been unable to rise. Chapter 37 Aleph Do not fret because of evildoers. Do not be envious of the workers of unrighteousness, for they soon wither like grass and fade like green plants. Bet Trust in Yahuwah and do good. Dwell in the earth and feed on steadfastness and delight yourself in Yahuwah and let him give you the desires of your heart. Gimel Commit your way to Yahuwah and trust in him and he does it and he shall bring forth your righteousness as the light and your right ruling as midday. Dalit Rest in Yahuwah and wait patiently for him. Do not fret because of him who prospers in his ways, because of the man doing wicked devices. Hey, abstain from displeasure and forsake wrath. Do not fret also to do evil, for evildoers are cut off. But those who wait on Yahuwah, they shall inherit the earth. Vav, yet a little while and the wrong is no more. And you shall look on his place, but it is not. But the meek one shall inherit the earth and delight themselves in plenty of peace. Zion, the wrong, plots against the righteous and gnashes his teeth at him. Yahuwah laughs at him, for he sees that his day is coming. Chet, the wrong have drawn the sword and have bent their bow to cause the poor and needy to fall, to slay those who walk straightly. Their sword does enter into their own heart, and their bows are broken. Tet, better is the little of the righteous one than the riches of many wrongdoers. For the arms of the wrongdoers are broken, but Yahuwah sustains the righteous. Yod, Yahuwah knows the days of the perfect, and their inheritance is forever. They are not ashamed in the time of evil, and in the days of scarcity of food they are satisfied. Cough. But the wrongdoer shall perish, and the enemies of Yahuwah, like the splendor of the meadows they vanish, like smoke they vanish away. Lamed. The wrongdoer is borrowing and does not repay, but the righteous one shows favor and gives. For his blessed ones inherit the earth, but those cursed by him are cut off. Mem. The steps of a man are ordered by Yahuwah, and he delights in his way. Though he falls, he is not cast down, for Yahuwah is supporting his hand. Noon. I have been young, and now I am old. Yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging bread. All day long he is showing favor and lending, and his seed is for blessing. Samak, turn away from evil and do good, and dwell forever. For Yahuwah loves right ruling, and does not forsake his lovingly committed ones. They shall be guarded forever, but the seed of the wrongdoers is cut off. The righteous shall inherit the earth, and dwell in it forever. Pay. The mouth of the righteous speaks wisdom, and his tongue talks of right ruling. The Torah of his Elohim is in his heart. His steps do not slide. Zadi. The wrong one is watching for the righteous and is seeking to slay him. Yahuwah does not leave him in his hand, or let him be declared wrong when he is judged. Kof. Wait on Yahuwah and guard his way, and he shall exalt you to inherit the earth. When the wrongdoers are cut off, you shall see it. Resh, I have seen the wrongdoer in great power and spreading himself like a native green tree. Yet he passed away, and see, he was not. And I sought him, but he was not found. Sheen, watch the perfect and observe the straight, for the latter end of each is peace. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together. The latter end of the wrong shall be cut off. Tav. 
But the deliverance of the righteous is from Yahuwah, their strength in time of distress. And Yahuwah does help them and deliver them. He delivers them from the wrongdoers and saves them because they took refuge in Him. Chapter 38 O Yahuwah, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chastise me in your hot displeasure. For your arrows have pierced me, and your hand comes down on me. There is no soundness in my flesh because of your rage, nor peace in my bones because of my sin. For my crookedness have passed over my head, like a heavy burden too heavy for me. My wounds have become stinky, festering because of my folly. I have been bent down. I have been bowed down very much. All day long I have gone mourning, for my loins have become filled with burning, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I have become weak and greatly crushed. I howled from the groaning of my heart. Yahuwah, all my desire is before you, and my sighing has not been hid from you. My heart is throbbing, my strength has forsaken me, and the light of my eyes also is not with me. My loved ones and my friends stand back from my plague, and my neighbors stand far away, and those seeking my life lay a snare, and those seeking my evil have spoken of destruction and utter deceit all day long. But I, as one deaf, do not hear, and as a dumb one who does not open his mouth, I'm like a man who does not hear, and who has no rebukes in his mouth. For on you, O Yahuwah, I have waited. You do answer, O Yahuwah, my Elohim. For I said, otherwise they would rejoice over me. When my foot slips, they would exalt themselves over me. For I am ready to fall, and my pain is always with me. For I confess my crookedness, I am sorry over my sin. But my enemies are alive. They have become strong, and those hating me falsely are many, and those who repay evil for good. They oppose me because I follow what is good. Do not forsake me, O Yahuwah, O my Elohim. Be not far from me. Hasten to help me, O Yahuwah, my deliverance. Chapter 39 I have said, Let me guard my ways against sinning with my tongue, Let me guard my mouth with a muzzle while the wrongdoer is before me. I became dumb, keeping still. I was silent from good, and my pain was stirred. My heart was hot within me. While I was meditating, the fire burned. Then I spoke with my tongue, Yahuwah, let me know my end and the measure of my days, what it is. Let me know how short-lived I am. See, you have made my days as handbreadths, and my lifetime is as non-existence before you. Only all men standing are all breath. Selah. As but a shadow each one walks, they busy themselves only in vain. He heaps up wealth, but knows not who gathers them. And now, Yahuwah, what do I wait for? My expectancy is in you. Deliver me from all my transgressions. Do not make me the reproach of the foolish. I was dumb. I did not open my mouth, because it was you who did it. Turn aside your stroke from me. I am overcome by the blow of your hand. When you chastise man for crookedness with reproofs, you consume what he loves like a moth. All men are but a breath, Selah. Hear my prayer, O Yahuwah, and give ear to my cry. Do not be silent at my tears, for I am a sojourner with you, a settler, as all my fathers were. Look away from me, that I might brighten up before I go away and am no more. Chapter 40 I waited, waited for Yahuwah, and he inclined to me and heard my cry. And he drew me out of the pit of destruction, 
out of the muddy clay, and he set my feet upon a rock. He is establishing my steps. Then he put a new song in my mouth, praise to our Elohim. Many do see it in fear and trust in Yahuwah. Blessed is that man who has made Yahuwah his trust and has not turned to the proud and those turning aside to falsehood. O Yahuwah, my Elohim, many are the wonders which you have done and your purpose is toward us. There is no one to compare with you. I declare and speak. There are too many to be numbered. Slaughtering and meal offering you did not desire. You have opened my ears. Ascending offering and sin offering you did not ask for. Then I said, See, I have come. In the scroll of the book, it is prescribed for me. I have delighted to do your pleasure, O my Elohim, and your Torah is within my heart. I have proclaimed the good news of righteousness in the great assembly. See, I do not restrain my lips, O Yahuwah. You know. I did not conceal your righteousness within my heart. I have declared your trustworthiness and your deliverance. I did not hide your loving commitment and your truth from the great assembly. Do not withhold your compassion from me, O Yahuwah. Let your loving commitment and your truth always watch over me. For evils without number have surrounded me. My crookednesses have overtaken me, and I have been unable to see. They became more than the hairs of my head, and my heart has failed me. Be pleased, O Yahuwah, to deliver me. O Yahuwah, hasten to help me. Let those who seek to destroy my life be ashamed and abashed altogether. Let those who are desiring my evil be driven back and put to shame. Let those who say to me, Aha! Aha! Be appalled at their own shame. Let all those who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let those who love your deliverance always say, Yahuwah be exalted! But I am poor and needy. Let Yahuwah think upon me. You are my help and my deliverer. O oh, my Elohim, do not delay. Chapter 41 Blessed is he who considers the poor. Yahuwah does deliver him in a day of evil. Yahuwah does guard him and keep him alive. He is blessed on the earth. And you do not hand him over to the desire of his enemies. Yahuwah sustains him on his sickbed. In his weakness on his bed, you bring a change. As for me, I said, O oh, Yahuwah, show me favor. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies speak evil of me. When he dies, his name shall perish. And when one comes to visit, he speaks falsely. His heart gathers wickedness to itself. He goes out. He speaks of it. All who hate me whisper together against me. They plot evil to me, saying, A matter of Belial is poured out on him, that when he lies down, he would not rise again. Even my own friend, in whom I trusted, who ate my bread, has lifted up his heel against me. But you, Yahuwah, Show me favor and raise me up and let me repay them. By this I know that you did delight in me because my enemy does not shout for joy over me. And I, you uphold me in my integrity and set me before your face forever. Blessed be Yahuwah Elohim of Yisrael from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and amen. Chapter 42 As a deer longs for the water streams, so my being longs for you, O Elohim. My being thirsts for Elohim, for the living El. When shall I enter in to appear before Elohim? My tears have been my food day and night, while they say to me all day, Where is your Elohim? These I remember and pour out my being within me. For I used to pass along with the throng. 
I went with them to the house of Elohim with a voice of joy and praise, a multitude celebrating a festival. Why are you depressed, O my being? And why are you restless within me? Wait for Elohim, for I shall yet thank him for the deliverance of his face. O my Elohim, my being is depressed within me. Therefore I remember you from the land of the Yarden and from the heights of Hermon, from Mount Mitzar. Deep calls to deep at the sound of your waterfalls. All your waves and breakers passed over me. By day, Yahuwah commands his loving commitment, and by night his song is with me. A prayer to the El of my life. I say to El, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? With murder in my bones, my enemies have reproached me, while they say to me all day long, Where is your Elohim? Why are you depressed, O my being? Why are you restless within me? Wait for Elohim, for I shall yet thank him, the deliverance of my face, and my Elohim. Elohim. Chapter 43 Rule me rightly, O Elohim, and plead my cause against a nation without loving commitment. O deliver me from a man of deceit and unrighteousness, for you are the Elohim of my strength. Why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? Send forth your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your set-apart mountain and to your dwelling places, that I might come to the slaughter place of Elohim, to El, the joy of my delight, and praise you with a lyre. O Elohim, my Elohim, why are you depressed, O my being? Why are you restless within me? Wait for Elohim, for I shall yet thank him the deliverance of my face and my Elohim. Chapter 44 O Elohim, we have heard with our ears. Our fathers have related to us the work you did in their days, in the days of old. You drove out the nations with your hand, but them you planted. You afflicted peoples and sent them out. For not by their own sword did they possess the land. Neither did their own arm save them. But it was your right hand and your arm and the light of your face. Because you delighted in them. You yourself are my sovereign, O Elohim. Command deliverance for Jacob. Through you we push our enemies. Through your name we tread down those who rise up against us. For I do not trust in my bow, and my sword does not save me. For you have saved us from our enemies, and have put to shame those who hated us. In Elohim we shall boast all day long, and praise your name forever. Selah. Yet you have rejected us, and put us to shame. You make us turn back from the adversary. And those who hate us have plundered us. You do give us as sheep to be eaten. And you have scattered us among the nations. You sell your people for no value. And have set no high price on them. You make us a reproach to our neighbors. A scorn and a mockery to those round about us. You make us a proverb among the nations. A shaking of the head among the peoples. My reproach is always before me. And the shame of my face has covered me because of the voice of the slanderer and blasphemer, because of the enemy and avenger. All this has come upon us, but we have not forgotten you. Neither have we been false to your covenant. Our heart has not turned back, neither has our step swerved from your way. Yet you have crushed us in the place of jackals and covered us with the shadow of death. If we have forgotten the name of our Elohim or stretched out our hands to a strange mighty one, would Elohim not search this out? 
for he knows the secrets of the heart. But for your sake we are killed all day long, reckoned as sheep for the slaughter. Awake! Why do you sleep, O Yahuwah? Arise! Do not reject us forever. Why do you hide your face, ignoring our affliction and our oppression? For our being is bowed down to the dust, our body cleaves to the earth. Arise, be our help, and redeem us for your loving commitment sake. Chapter 45 My heart is overflowing with a goodly word. I address my works to the sovereign. My tongue is the pen of a speedy writer. You are more handsome than the sons of men. Favor has been poured upon your lips. Therefore Elohim has blessed you forever. Gird your sword upon your thigh, O mighty one, your excellency and your splendor, and ride prosperously in your splendor. On the matter of truth and humility, righteousness, and let your right hand lead you to awesome matters. Your arrows are sharp in the heart of the sovereign's enemies. Peoples fall under you. Your throne, O Elohim, is forever and ever. The scepter of your reign is a scepter of straightness. You have loved righteousness and hated wrongness. Therefore, Elohim, your Elohim has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions. All your garments are myrrh and aloes, cassia, out of the palaces of ivory. Stringed instruments have made you glad. Daughters of sovereigns are among your precious ones. At your right hand stands the sovereigness in gold from Ophir. Listen, O daughter, and see and incline your ear and forget your own people and your father's house. And let the sovereign delight in your loveliness because he is your master. Bow yourself to him and the daughter of Zor with a gift. The rich among the people seek your favor. The daughter of the sovereign is all esteemed within the palace. Her dress is embroidered with gold. She is brought to the sovereign in embroidered work. Maidens, her companions following her, are brought to you. They are brought with gladness and rejoicing. They enter the sovereign's palace. Instead of your fathers are your sons, whom you appoint princes in all the earth. I cause your name to be remembered in all generations. Therefore the people praise you forever and ever. Chapter 46 Elohim is our refuge and strength, a help in distress, soon found. Therefore we do not fear, though the earth reels and the mountains topple into the heart of the seas. Let its waters rage, foam. Let mountains shake with its swelling, Selah. A river whose streams make glad the city of Elohim, the set-apart dwelling of the Most High. Elohim is in her midst. She does not topple. Elohim does help her when morning turns. The nation shall rage. Rains shall topple. He shall give forth his voice. The earth melts. Yahuwah of hosts is with us. The Elohim of Yaakov is our refuge. Selah. Come see the works of Yahuwah, the ruins he has wrought on the earth, causing all fighting to cease until the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the chariots with fire. Be still and know that I am Elohim. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. Yahuwah of hosts is with us. The Elohim of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Chapter 47 O oh, clap your hands, all you peoples. Shout to Elohim with a voice of singing. For Yahuwah Most High is awesome, a great sovereign over all the earth. He subdues people under us and nations under our feet. He chooses our inheritance for us. The excellence of Jacob, 
whom he loves. Selah. Elohim shall go up with a shout, Yahuwah with the voice of a shofar. Sing praises to Elohim. Sing praises. Sing praises to our sovereign. Sing praises. For Elohim is sovereign of all the earth. Sing praises with understanding. Elohim shall reign over the nations. Elohim shall sit on his set-apart throne. Nobles of people shall be gathered together, the people of the Elohim of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to Elohim. He shall be greatly exalted. Chapter 48 Great is Yahuwah, and greatly to be praised. In the city of our Elohim, his set-apart mountain, beautiful on high, the joy of all the earth, is Mount Zion on the sides of the north, the city of the great sovereign. Elohim is in her citadels. He is known as her refuge. For look, the sovereigns met. They passed by together. They saw, so they marveled. They were alarmed. They hastened away. Trembling took hold of them there, pain as of a woman in labor. With an east wind you break the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so we have seen in the city of Yahuwah of hosts, in the city of our Elohim. Elohim establishes her forever. Selah. We have thought, O Elohim, of your loving commitment in the midst of your hakal. According to your name, O Elohim, so is your praise to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the daughters of Yehuda exult because of your right rulings. Walk about Zion and go all around her. Count her towers. Set your heart upon her rampart. Go through her citadels so that you report it to the coming generation. For this Elohim is our Elohim forever and ever. He himself leads us even to death. Chapter 49 Hear this, all you peoples. Give ear, all you inhabitants of the world, both sons of mankind and sons of man, rich and poor together. My mouth speaks wisdom, and the meditation of my heart brings understanding. I incline my ear to a parable. I expound my riddle on the lyre. Why should I fear in the days of evil, when the crookedness of my supplanters surround me? those who are trusting in their riches and who are boasting in their great wealth. A brother does not redeem anyone at all. Give to Elohim a ransom for him, for the redemption of their lives is costly, and it shall cease forever, that he should still live forever and not see the pit, for he sees wise men die. The foolish and the ignorant both perish and shall leave their wealth to others. Their inner thoughts are their houses forever, their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. But man does not remain in esteem. He is like the beasts that perish. This way of theirs is folly to them. Yet their followers are pleased with their words, say La. Like sheep they shall be laid in Sheol. Death shall shepherd them and the upright rule over them in the morning. And their form is consumed in Sheol, far from their dwelling. But Elohim does redeem my being from the power of Sheol, for he does receive me, say La. Do not be afraid when a man becomes rich, when the wealth of his house increases. For when he dies, he takes none of it. His wealth does not go down after him. Though while he lived, he blessed himself, And though they praise you when you do well for yourself, he has to go to the generation of his fathers. They never see the light. Man who is rich, yet does not understand, shall be like the beasts. They shall perish. Chapter 50 El Elohim Yahuwah shall speak, and he shall call the earth from the rising of the sun to its going down, from Zion, the perfection of loveliness. 
Elohim shall shine forth. Our Elohim comes and is not silent. A fire consumes before him, and it shall be very stormy all around him. He calls to the heavens from above and to the earth to rightly rule his people. Gather my lovingly committed ones together to me, those who have made a covenant with me by slaughtering. Then the heavens declared his righteousness, for Elohim himself is judge, Selah. Hear, O my people, and I speak, O Yisrael, and I witness against you. I am Elohim, your Elohim. I do not reprove you for your slaughterings, and your ascending offerings are continually before me. I do not take a bowl from your house, nor goats out of your pens, for every beast of the forest is mine, the cattle on a thousand hills. I know all the birds of the mountains, and all moving in my field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not speak to you, for the world is mine and all that fills it. Do I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Slaughter thanksgiving to Elohim, and pay your vows to the Most High, and call upon me in the day of distress. Let me rescue you, and you esteem me. But to the wrong Elohim said, What right have you to recite my laws, or take my covenant in your mouth? while you hated instruction and cast my words behind you. When you saw a thief, you were pleased with him, and you take part with adulterers. You let your mouth loose to evil, and your tongue frames deceit. You sit, speak against your brother. You slander your own mother's son. You have done this, and I kept silent. You have thought that I was altogether like you. I rebuke you and set it in order before your eyes. Understand this, please, you who forget Eloah, lest I tear you in pieces with no one to deliver. Whoever slaughters praise esteems me, and to him who prepares a way, I show the deliverance of Elohim. Chapter 51 Show favor, O Elohim, according to your loving commitment. According to the greatness of your compassion, blot out my transgressions, wash me completely from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned, and done evil in your eyes, that you might be proven right in your words. Be clear when you judge. See, I was brought forth in crookedness, and in sin my mother conceived me. See, you have desired truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part you make me no wisdom. Cleanse me with hyssop, and I am clean. Wash me, and I am whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my crookednesses. Create in me a clean heart, O Elohim, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your set-apart spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your deliverance, and uphold me, noble spirit. Let me teach transgressors your ways, so that sinners turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guilt. O Elohim, Elohim of my deliverance, Let my tongue sing aloud of your righteousness. O Yahuwah, open my lips, and that my mouth declare your praise. For you do not desire slaughtering, or I would give it. You do not delight in ascending offering. The slaughterings of Elohim are a broken spirit, a heart broken and crushed. O Elohim, these you do not despise. Do good in your good pleasure to Zion. Build the walls of Jerusalem. Then you would delight in slaughterings of righteousness, in ascending offering and complete ascending offering. Then young bulls would be offered on your slaughter place. Chapter 52 Why do you boast in evil, O mighty man? The loving commitment of El is all day long. Your tongue devises destruction, 
like a sharp razor working deceit. You loved evil more than good, lying more than speaking righteousness, say La. You loved all devouring words, O tongue of deceit. Let El also break you down forever, take you and pluck you out of your tent, and he shall uproot you from the land of the living, say La. And let the righteous see and fear, and laugh at him, saying, See, the man who did not make Elohim his strength, but trusted in his many riches, being strong in his destruction. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of Elohim. I have trusted in the loving commitment of Elohim forever and ever. I thank you forever, because you have done it. And in the presence of your lovingly committed ones, I wait on your name. For it is good. Chapter 53 The fool has said in his heart, There is no Elohim. They have done corruptly, and they have done abominable unrighteousness. No one does good. Elohim looked down from the heavens on the children of men to see if there is a wise one seeking Elohim. They have all turned aside. They have together become filthy, No one is doing good, not even one. Have the workers of wickedness no knowledge, who eat up my people as they eat bread, and do not call on Elohim? There they are in great fear, where no fear was. For Elohim shall scatter the bones of him who encamps against you. You shall put them to shame, for Elohim has rejected them. Oh, that the deliverance of Israel would be given out of Zion. When Elohim turns back the captivity of his people, let Yaakov rejoice, let Israel be glad. Chapter 54 O oh, Elohim, save me by your name, and rightly rule me by your might. Hear my prayer, O oh Elohim, give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me, and cruel men have sought after my life. They have not set Elohim before them, say La. See, Elohim is my helper. Yahuwah is with those who sustain my life. He repays evil to my enemies. Cut them off in your truth. Voluntarily I slaughter to you. I praise your name, O Yahuwah, for it is good. For he has delivered me out of all distress, and my eye has looked upon my enemies. Chapter 55 Give ear to my prayer, O Elohim, and do not hide yourself from my plea. Give heed to me and answer me. I wander and moan in my complaint because of the noise of the enemy, because of the outcry of the wrong. For they bring down wickedness upon me, and in wrath they hate me. My heart is pained within me, and the frights of death have fallen upon me. Fear and trembling have come upon me, and shuddering covers me. And I said, Who would give me wings like a dove? I would fly away and be at rest. See, I would wander far off. I would lodge in the wilderness. Say La. I would hasten my escape from the raging wind and storm. Confuse, O Yahuwah, divide their tongues, for I saw violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go around it on its walls. Wickedness and trouble are also in the midst of it. Coveting are in its midst. Oppression and deceit do not vanish from its streets. It is not an enemy who reproaches me that I could bear. No one who hates me who is making himself great against me. Then I could hide from him. But it was you, a man, my equal, my companion, and my friend. We took sweet counsel together. We walked to the house of Elohim in the throng. Let death come upon them. Let them go down into Sheol alive. For evil is in their dwellings, in their midst. I, I call upon Elohim. And Yahuwah saves me. Evening and morning, and at noon I complain and moan, and he hears my voice. He has redeemed my life in peace from the battle against me. 
for there were many against me. El, even he who sits enthroned from of old, does hear and afflict them, say La. Those with whom there are no changes, those who do not fear Elohim, he has put forth his hand against those who were at peace with him. He has broken his covenant. His mouth was smoother than curds, yet in his heart is fighting. His words were softer than oil, but they are drawn swords. Cast your burden on Yahuwah and let him sustain you. He never allows the righteous to be shaken. For you, O Elohim, do bring them down to the pit of destruction. Men of blood and deceit do not reach half their days, but I, I trust in you. Chapter 56 Show me favor, O Elohim, for man would swallow me up. Fighting all day long, he oppresses me. My enemies would swallow me up all day long, for many are fighting against me. Oh, Most High, in the day I am afraid, I trust in you. In Elohim, whose word I praise, in Elohim I have trusted. I do not fear. What could flesh do to me? All day long they twist my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They stir up strife. They hide. They watch my steps as they lie and wait for my life. Because of wickedness, cast them out. Put down the peoples in displeasure, O Elohim. You have counted my wanderings. You put my tears into your bottle. Are they not in your book? My enemies turn back in the day I call. This I know because Elohim is for me. In Elohim whose word I praise, in Yahuwah, whose word I praise, in Elohim I have trusted, I do not fear. What could man do to me? On me, O Elohim, are your vows. I render praises to you, for you have delivered my life from death, my feet from stumbling, that I might walk before Elohim in the light of the living. Chapter 57 Show me favor, O Elohim, show me favor, for in you my being is taking refuge, and in the shadow of your wings I take refuge, until destruction passes by. I cry out to the Most High Elohim, to El, who is perfecting all matters for me. He sends from the heavens and saves me. He reproaches the ones who would swallow me up. Selah. Elohim sends forth his loving commitment and his truth. My being is in the midst of lions. I lie among those who breathe fire, whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongue is a sharp sword. Be exalted, O Elohim, above the heavens. Let your esteem be above all the earth. They have prepared a net for my footsteps. My being was bowed down. They have dug a pit before me. They fell into the midst of it. Selah. My heart is firm, O Elohim. My heart is firm. I sing and praise. Awake, my esteem. Awake, harp and lyre. I awake the dawn. I praise you among the peoples, O Yahuwah. I sing to you among the nations. For your loving commitment is great up to the heavens, and your truth unto the clouds. Be exalted above the heavens, O Elohim. Let your esteem be above all the earth. Chapter 58 Would you indeed speak righteousness in silence? Do you judge straightly, you sons of men? No. In your heart you work on righteousness. On earth you weigh out the violence of your hands. The wrong have been estranged from the womb. These who speak lies go astray from birth. Their poison is like the poison of a snake, like a deaf cobra that stops its ear, so as not to hear the voice of whisperers or a skilled caster of spells. O oh, Elohim, break their teeth in their mouth. Break out the fangs of the young lions, O oh, Yahuwah. Let them melt. Let them vanish as water. 
Let him aim his arrows that they may be cut down, like a snail which melts away as it moves, like a woman's stillbirth. Let them not see the sun before your pots feel the thorns, whether green or ablaze, he sweeps them away. The righteous rejoice when he has seen the vengeance. He washes his feet in the blood of the wrong, and man says, Truly the righteous are rewarded. Truly there is an Elohim judging in the earth. Chapter 59 Deliver me from my enemies, O my Elohim. Set me on high from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from the workers of wickedness, and save me from the men of blood. For look, they have lain in wait for my life. Mighty men assemble against me. For no transgression or sin of mine, O Yahuwah. For no guilt of mine, they run and prepare themselves. Awake to help me and see. And you, Yahuwah Elohim of hosts, Elohim of Yisrael, awake to punish all the nations. Show no favor to any wicked traitors. Selah. They return at evening. They howl like a dog and go around the city. See, they belch out with their mouth. Swords are in their lips. For who is listening? But you, Yahuwah, laugh at them. You mock all the nations. O oh, my strength, I wait for you. For Elohim is my strong tower, my Elohim of loving commitment. Elohim does go before me. He lets me look upon my enemies. Do not kill them, lest my people forget. Scatter them by your power and bring them down, O Yahuwah, our shield. The sin of their mouth is the words of their lips, and they are captured in their pride. And for the cursing and lying they utter, bring them to an end in wrath, bring them to an end, that they be no more. And let them know that Elohim is ruling Jacob to the ends of the earth, Selah. And at evening they return, they howl like a dog, and go around the city. They wander up and down for food and wine if they are not satisfied. And I, I sing of your power, and in the morning I sing aloud of your loving commitment. For you have been my strong tower and a refuge in the day of my distress. O oh, my strength, to you I sing praises. For Elohim is my strong tower, my Elohim of loving commitment. Chapter 60 O oh, Elohim, you have rejected us. You have broken us. You have been displeased. Turn back to us. You have made the earth tremble. You have broken it. Heal its breaches, for it is shaken. You have let your people see hardship. You have made us drink the wine of trembling. You have given a banner to those who fear you, that it might be lifted up because of the truth. Selah. That those you love might be rescued. Save with your right hand and answer me. Elohim has spoken in his set apartness. I exalt, I portion out Shechem and measure out the valley of Sukkot. Gilad is mine and Manasseh is mine and Ephraim is the defense of my head. Yehuda is my inscriber. Moab is my washpot. Over Edom I cast my shoe. Shout loud, O Philistia, because of me. Who would bring me to the strong city? Who shall lead me to Edom? Have not you, O Elohim, rejected us? And you do not go out, O Elohim, with our armies. Give us help from distress, for the help of man is not. In Elohim we do mightily, and he treads down our adversaries. Chapter 61 Hear my cry, O Elohim. Listen to my prayer. From the end of the earth I call unto you when my heart is faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I, for you have been my refuge, a strong tower in the face of the enemy. Let me sojourn in your tent forever. Let me take refuge in the shelter of your wings. Selah. 
For you, O Elohim, have heard my vows. You have given me the inheritance of those who fear your name. You had days to the days of the sovereign, his years as many generations. Let him dwell forever before Elohim. Prepare loving commitment and truth to preserve him. So I sing praise to your name forever when I pay my vows day by day. Chapter 62 My being finds rest in Elohim alone. From him is my deliverance. He alone is my rock and my deliverance, my strong tower. I am not greatly shaken. How long would you shout at a man? Murder! Like a leaning wall, a tottering fence. They plotted to topple him from his high position. They delight in lies. They bless with their mouth, but in their heart they curse. Selah. My being, find rest in Elohim alone. Because my expectation is from Him. He alone is my rock and my deliverance, my strong tower. I am not shaken. My deliverance and my esteem depend on Elohim, the rock of my strength. My refuge is in Elohim. Trust in Him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before Him. Elohim is a refuge for us. Selah. Sons of Adam are but a breath. Sons of men are a lie. If weighed in the scales, they are altogether lighter than breath. Do not trust in oppression. And do not become vain in robbery. If riches increase, do not set your heart on them. Elohim has spoken once, twice I have heard this, that strength belongs to Elohim, and loving commitment is yours, O Yahuwah. For you reward each one according to his work. Chapter 63 O Elohim, you are my El. I earnestly seek you. My being has thirsted for you. My flesh has longed for you. In a dry and thirsty land without water. Therefore I have had a vision of you in the set-apart place. To see your power and your esteem. Because your loving commitment is better than life. My lips do praise you, therefore I bless you while I live. In your name I lift up my hands, my being is satisfied as with marrow and fat. And my mouth praises you with singing lips. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you in the night watches, for you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings I sing. My being has closely followed you. Your right hand did uphold me. But those who seek to destroy my life go into the lower parts of the earth. They are handed over to the power of the sword. They became a portion for jackals. But let the sovereign rejoice in Elohim. Let everyone who swears by him exalt. For the mouth of those speaking lies is stopped. Chapter 64 Hear my voice, O Elohim, in my meditation. Guard my life from the threats of the enemy. Hide me from the secret plans of the evildoers, from the tumult of the workers of wickedness, who sharpen their tongue like a sword and aim their arrows, a bitter word, to shoot in ambush at someone blameless. They shoot at him suddenly and do not fear. They arm themselves with an evil word, They talk of hiding snares. They have said, Who sees them? They search out unrighteousness. We have perfected a well-searched-out plan. For the inward part of a man and heart are deep, but Elohim does shoot at them with an arrow. Their wounds shall be sudden, and they cause one to stumble. Their own tongue is against them, and all who see them flee away. And all men fear and declare the work of Elohim. And they shall wisely consider what he has done. The righteous rejoice in Yahuwah and shall take refuge in him. And all the upright in heart praise him. Chapter 65 To you, stillness, praise in Zion, O Elohim. And to you, a vow is paid. To you, all who hears all prayer. To you who hears all prayer, 
all flesh comes. Crooked matters were mightier than I. As for your transgressions, you do cover them. Blessed is the one you choose, and bring near to dwell in your courts. We are satisfied with the goodness of your house, your set-apart hakal. By awesome deeds in righteousness you answer us, O Elohim of our deliverance. The trust of all the ends of the earth and the distant seas, who established the mountains by his strength, being girdled with might, who stills the roaring of the seas, the roaring of the waves and the uproar of the peoples, and they who dwell in the farthest parts are afraid of your signs. You make the outgoings of the morning and evening rejoice. You have visited the earth and watered it. You greatly enriched it. The river of Elohim is filled with water. You provide their grain. For so you have prepared it. Its ridges have been filled. Its furrows have been deepened. You make it soft with showers. You bless its growth. You have crowned the year with your goodness and your paths drip with fatness. The pastures of the wilderness drip, and the hills are girded with rejoicing. The meadows are dressed in flocks, and the valleys are covered with grain. They shout for joy and sing. Chapter 66 Shout with joy to Elohim, all the earth. Sing out the splendor of His name. Make His praise esteemed. Say to Elohim, how awesome are your works! Through the greatness of your power, your enemies pretend obedience to you. All the earth bow to you. They sing praises to you. They praise your name, Selah. Come and see the works of Elohim, awesome acts towards the sons of men. He has turned the sea into dry land. They went through the river on foot. They were rejoiced in him, who rules by his power forever, his eyes keeping watch on the nations. Let the rebellious not exalt themselves, Selah. Bless our Elohim, you peoples, and sound his praise abroad, who keeps us in life and does not allow our feet to be moved. For you, O Elohim, have proved us. You have refined us as silver is refined, You brought us into the net. You laid affliction on our loins. You have let men ride at our head. We went through fire and through water, but you brought us out to plenty. I enter your house with ascending offerings. I complete my vows to you, that which my lips have uttered, and my mouth spoke in my distress. Ascending offerings of fatlings I offer to you with the incense of rams. I offer bowls with goats, Selah. Come and hear all you who fear Elohim, and I relate what he has done for my being. I called to him with my mouth, and praise was in my tongue. If I have seen wickedness in my heart, Yahuwah would not hear. Truly, Elohim has heard me. He has given heed to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be Elohim who has not turned away my prayer, nor his loving commitment from me. Chapter 67 Elohim does favor us and bless us. Cause his face to shine upon us, Selah, for your way to be known on earth, your deliverance among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O Elohim. Let all the people praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you judge the peoples uprightly and lead the nations on earth. Selah. Let the peoples praise you, O Elohim. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth shall give her increase. Elohim, our own Elohim, blesses us. Elohim blesses us. And all the ends of the earth fear him. Chapter 68 Elohim arises, his enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, you drive them away. As wax melts before the fire, the wrong perish before Elohim. But the righteous are glad, 
They exult before Elohim and they rejoice with gladness. Sing to Elohim, sing praises to his name. Raise up a highway for him who rides through the deserts. By his name, Yah, and exult before him, father of the fatherless and right ruler of widows. Is Elohim in his set-apart dwelling? Elohim makes a home for the lonely. He brings out into prosperity those who are bound with chains. Only the rebellious shall dwell in a dry land. Oh, Elohim, when you went out before your people, when you stepped through the wilderness, Selah. The earth shook and the heavens dropped before Elohim. This Sinai shook before Elohim, the Elohim of Yisrael. You, O Elohim, sent a shower of plenty. You confirmed your inheritance when it was weary. Your flock dwelt in it. You provided from your goodness for the poor, O Elohim. Yahuwah gave the word. The woman who proclaimed it was a great company. Sovereigns of armies flee in haste, and she who remains at home divides the spoil. If you lie down among the sheepfolds, the wings of a dove are covered with silver, and her pinions with yellow gold. When the Almighty scattered sovereigns in it, it did snow in Zalman. A mountain of Elohim is the mountain of Bashan. A mountain of peaks is the mountain of Bashan. O mountain of peaks, why do you gaze in envy at the mountain which Elohim desired to dwell in? Yahuwah even dwells there forever. The chariots of Elohim are twenty thousand, thousands of thousands. Yahuwah came from Sinai into the set-apart place. You have descended on high. You have led captivity captive. You have received gifts among men. And even the rebellious, the Yah Elohim might dwell there. Blessed be Yahuwah. Day by day he brings out our burden. The L of our deliverance, Selah. Our L is the L of deliverance, and to Yahuwah the master belong escapes from death. Indeed, Elohim smites the head of his enemies, the hairy scalp of him who walks about in his guilt. Yahuwah said, I bring back from Bashan, I bring back from the depths of the sea, so that you plunge your foot in blood, that the tongues of your dogs have their portion from the enemies. They have seen your goings, O Elohim, the goings of my El, my sovereign, into the set-apart place. The singers went in front, the players on instruments after them. Among them were the young women playing tambourines. Bless Elohim in the assemblies, Yahuwah from the fountains of Yisrael. There is Benjamin, the smallest, their ruler the leaders of Yehuda, their company, the leaders of Zebulun, the leaders of Naphtali. Your Elohim has commanded your strength. Be strong. O oh, Elohim, this you have worked out for us because of your call at Jerusalem. Sovereigns bring presents to you. Rebuke the wild beasts of the reeds, the herd of bulls with the calves of the people, each one humbling himself with pieces of silver. Scatter the peoples who delight in conflicts. Ambassadors, come out of Mitzrayim. Cush stretches out her hands to Elohim. Sing to Elohim, you reigns of the earth. Praises to Yahuwah. Selah. To him who rides on the ancient highest heavens, see he sends out his voice, a mighty voice. Ascribe strength to Elohim. His excellence is over Yisrael and his strength is in the clouds. O oh, Elohim, awesome from your set-apart places, the El of Yisrael is he who gives strength and power to his people. Blessed be Elohim. Chapter 69 Save me, O oh Elohim, for waters have come up to my neck. I have sunk in deep mud, and there's no place to stand. I have come into deep waters, and the floods overflow me. I am worn out for my crying. My throat is dry. My eyes grow dim as I wait for my Elohim. Those who hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head. They are mighty. 
who would destroy me, my lying enemies. What I did not steal, I restored. O oh, Elohim, you yourself know my foolishness, and my guilt has not been hidden from you. Let not those who wait for you, O Master Yahuwah of hosts, be ashamed because of me. Let not those who seek you be humbled because of me, O Elohim of Israel, because I have borne reproach for your sake. Shame has covered my face. I have become a stranger to my brothers and a foreigner to my mother's children, because ardor for your house has eaten me up and the reproaches of those who reproach you have fallen on me. And I wept in my being with fasting, and it became my reproach. And when I put on sackcloth, I became a proverb to them. They who sit in the gate talk about me, and I am the song of the drunkards. But as for me, my prayer is to you, O Yahuwah, at an acceptable time, O Elohim. In the greatness of your loving commitment, answer me in the truth of your deliverance. Rescue me out of the mire and let me not sink. Let me be rescued from those who hate me and out of the deep waters. Let not a flood of waters overflow me, nor let the deep swallow me up, nor let the pit shut its mouth on me. Answer me, O Yahuwah, for your loving commitment is good. According to the greatness of your compassion, turn to me and do not hide your face from your servant, for I am in distress. Answer me speedily. Draw near to my being. Redeem it. Ransom me because of my enemies. You yourself know my reproach and my shame and my confusion. My adversaries are all before you. Reproach has broken my heart and I am sick. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. And for comforters, but I found none. And they gave me gall for my food and for my thirst. They gave me vinegar to drink. Let their table before them become a snare and a trap to those at ease. Let their eyes be darkened so as not to see. They make their loins shake continually. Pour out your wrath upon them and let your burning displeasure overtake them. Let their encampments be deserted. Let no one dwell in their tents. For they persecute him whom you have stricken and talk about the pain of those you have wounded. Add crookedness to their crookedness and let them not enter into your righteousness. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living and not be written with the righteous. But I am poor and in pain. Let your deliverance, O Elohim, set me up on high. I praise the name of Elohim with a song, and I make him great with thanksgiving. And this pleases Yahuwah more than an ox, a bull with horns and hooves. The humble shall see, they rejoice. You who seek Elohim and your hearts live. For Yahuwah hears the poor and he shall not despise his captives. Let the heavens and the earth praise him, the seas and all that moves in them. For Elohim shall save Zion and build the cities of Yahuda, and they shall dwell there and possess it. And the seed of his servants inherit it. And those who love his name dwell in it. Chapter 70 O Elohim, deliver me. Hasten to my help, O Yahuwah. Let those who seek my life be ashamed and abashed. Let those who are desiring my evil be turned back and humiliated. Let those who say, Aha! Aha! be turned back because of their shame. Let all those who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. And let those who love your deliverance always say, Let Elohim be made great. But I am poor and needy. Hasten to me, O Elohim. You are my help and my deliverer. O Yahuwah, do not delay. Chapter 71 in you, O Yahuwah, 
I have taken refuge. Let me never be ashamed. In your righteousness, deliver and rescue me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be to me a rock to dwell in, to go into continually. You have given the command to save me, for you are my rock and my stronghold. Rescue me, O my Elohim, out of the hand of the wrong, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel, for you are my expectation. Master Yahuwah, my trust from my youth, upon you I have leaned from my birth. You took me out of my mother's womb. My praise is continually of you. I have become as a wonder to many, but you are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise, your splendor all the day. Do not cast me off in the time of old age. When my strength fails, do not forsake me. For my enemies have spoken against me, and those who watch for my life have taken counsel together, saying, Elohim has forsaken him. Pursue and take him, for there is no one to deliver. O Elohim, do not be far from me. My Elohim, hasten to my help. Let those who are adversaries of my life be ashamed, consumed. Let those who seek my evil be covered with reproach and confusion. But I continually wait and shall praise you more and more. My mouth recounts your righteousness, your deliverance all the day. Though I do not know their numbers, I come in the might of the Master Yahuwah. I make mention of your righteousness, yours alone. Elohim, you have taught me from my youth, and to this day I declare your wonders. And also when I am old and gray, O Elohim, do not forsake me until I declared your strength to a generation, your might to all those who are to come. For your righteousness, O Elohim, is very high. You have done great deeds. O Elohim, who is like you? You have shown me great and evil distresses. Revive me again and bring me up again. From the depths of the earth, you increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. Also with the lyre I praise you for your trustworthiness, O my Elohim. I sing to you with the lyre, O set-apart one of Yisrael. My lips shout for joy when I sing to you, even my being which you have redeemed. My tongue too utters your righteousness all day long. For those who have been seeking my evil have been put to shame, having become abashed. Chapter 72 O Elohim, give the sovereign your right rulings and your righteousness to the son of a sovereign. Let him rule your people with righteousness and your poor with right ruling. Let the mountains bring peace to the people and the hills by righteousness. Let him rightly rule the poor of the people. Save the children of the needy and crush the oppressor. Let them fear you with the sun shining and before the moon in all generations. Let him come down like rain upon the mown grass, like showers watering the earth. Let the righteous flourish in his days with plenty of peace till the moon is no more. And let him rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Let those dwelling in the desert bow before him and his enemies lick the dust. Let the sovereigns of Tarshish and of the isles bring presents. The sovereigns of Sheba and Seba offer gifts, and let all sovereigns bow down before him. All nations serve him, for he delivers the needy when he cries. And the poor, who has no helper, he spares the poor and needy, and he saves the lives of the needy. He redeems their life from oppression and from violence and their blood is precious in his eyes. And he shall live, and the gold of Sheba be given to him, and prayer be made for him continually. Let him be blessed all day long. Let there be plenty of grain in the earth, on the tops of the mountains. Let its fruit wave like Lebanon, and those of the city flourish like grass of the earth. Let his name be forever, 
his name continue before the sun and let them bless themselves in him. Let all the nations call him blessed. Blessed be Yahuwah Elohim, Elohim of Yisrael. He alone is doing wonders, and blessed is his esteemed name forever. And let all the earth be filled with his esteem. Amen and amen. The prayers of David, the son of Yeshai, are ended. Chapter 73 Elohim is truly good to Yisrael, to those whose heart is clean. But as for me... My feet had almost stumbled. My steps had nearly slipped, for I was envious of the boasters when I saw the peace of the wrongdoers. For death has no pangs for them, and their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, and they are not plagued like other men. So pride is their necklace. The garment of violence covers them. Their eyes bulge from fatness. Their heart overflows with imaginations. They mock and speak in the evil of oppression. They speak loftily. They have set their mouth against the heavens, and their tongue walks through the earth, saying, Therefore his people return here, and waters of a filled cup are drained by them. And they have said, How could El know? And is there knowledge in the Most High? See, these are wrong, and always at ease. They have amassed wealth, Indeed, in vain, I have cleansed my heart and washed my hands in innocence, for I am plagued all day long, and my reproof is every morning. If I had said, let me speak thus, see, I would have deceived a generation of your children. Yet when I tried to understand this, it was labor to my eyes, until I went into the set-apart place of El, then I perceived their end. Indeed, you set them in slippery places. You make them fall to ruins. How suddenly they are ruined, completely swept away through destructions. Yahuwah, when you awake, you despise their image, as one does a dream after waking. For my heart was in a ferment, and I was pierced in my kidneys. I was stupid and ignorant. I was like a beast toward you. Yet I am always with you. You took hold of my right hand. You lead me by your counsel. And afterward receive me unto esteem. Whom do I have in the heavens? And I have desired no one besides you on the earth. My flesh and my heart shall waste away. But Elohim is the rock of my heart and my portion forever. For look, those who are far from you perish. You shall cut off all those who go whoring away from you. But as for me, it is good to be near Elohim. I have made my refuge in the Master Yahuwah to declare all your works. Chapter 74 O Elohim, why do you forever reject us? Why does your displeasure smoke against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your congregation, you did purchase of old. The tribe of your inheritance, you did redeem. This Mount Zion, where you have dwelt. Lift up your steps to the endless ruins. The enemy has done all evil in the set-apart place. Your adversaries have roared in the midst of your appointments. They have set up their own signs as signs. It seems as if one had lifted up axes among the thick trees and now all its carved work. They have broken down with axe and hammer. They have set fire to your set-apart place. They have profaned the dwelling place of your name to the ground. They have said in their hearts, Let us suppress them all together. They burned all the appointment places of El in the land. We do not see our signs. There is no longer a prophet, nor any among us who knows how long. O Elohim, how long would the adversary reproach? Would the enemy despise your name forever? Why do you hold back your hand, even your right hand, from the midst of your bosom? End it! For Elohim is my sovereign from of old, working deliverance in the midst of the earth. 
You divided the sea by your might. You broke the heads of the sea serpents in the waters. You broke the heads of Leviathan in pieces. You made him food for the people living in the wilderness. You did cleave open the fountain and the flood. You did dry up mighty rivers. The day is yours. The night is yours too. You have established the light and the sun. You have set all the borders of the earth. You have made summer and winter. Remember this. The enemy has reproached Yahuwah, and a foolish people has despised your name. Do not give the being of your turtle dove to the wild beast. Do not forget the life of your afflicted ones forever. Look to the covenant. For the dark places of the earth are filled with haunts of violence. Let not the crushed one return ashamed. Let the poor and needy praise your name. Arise, O Elohim, plead your own cause. Remember how the foolish man reproaches you daily. Do not forget the voice of your enemies. The uproar of those rising up against you increases continually. Chapter 75 We shall give thanks to you, O Elohim. We shall give thanks. And your name is near. Your wonders shall be declared. When I seize the appointed time, it is I who judge in uprightness. The earth and all its inhabitants are melted. It is I who set its columns firm. Selah. I said to the boasters, Do not boast. And to the wrong, Do not lift up the horn. Do not lift up your horn on high. You speak with a stiff neck. For exaltations are neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the wilderness. But Elohim is the judge. He puts down one and exalts another. For a cup is in the hand of Yahuwah, and the wine shall foam. It is filled with a mixture, and he pours it out. All the wrong of the earth drink draining it to the dregs. But I, I declare forever, I sing praises to the Elohim of Jacob, and all the horns of the wrong I cut off. The horns of the righteous are lifted up. Chapter 76 In Yehuda, Elohim is known. His name is great in Yisrael, and his booth is in Shalem and his dwelling place in Zion. There he broke the arrows of the bow, the shield and the sword and the battle axe. Selah. You are resplendent, more excellent than the mountains of prey. The stout-hearted have been stripped, they slept their sleep, and none of the mighty men have found their hands. At your rebuke, O Elohim of Yaakov, both the rider and the horse lay stunned. You... You are to be feared. And who would stand in your presence? When you are displeased, from heaven you shall cause judgment to be heard. The earth shall fear and shall be still. When Elohim arises to right ruling, to save all the meek of the earth, say La. For the wrath of mankind praises you. With the remainder of wrath you gird yourself. Make vows to Yahuwah your Elohim and pay them. Let all who are around him bring presents to the one to be feared. He cuts off the spirit of leaders. He is awesome to the sovereigns of the earth. Chapter 77 My voice is to Elohim, and I cry. My voice is to Elohim, and he listened to me. In the day of my distress, I sought Yahuwah, My hand was stretched out in the night, and it did not cease. My being refused to be comforted. I remembered Elohim and groaned. I complained, and my spirit grew faint. Selah. You ceased the watches of my eyes. I was too troubled to speak. I have thought about the days of old, the years long past. I remember my song in the night. I meditate within my heart and my spirit searches diligently. Would Yahuwah reject forever and never again be pleased? Has his loving commitment ceased forever? Has the promise failed for all generations? Has El forgotten to show favor? 
Has he shut up his compassions in displeasure? Selah. And I said, this is my grief, that the right hand of the Most High has changed. I remember the deeds of Yah, for I remember your wonders of old, and I shall meditate on all your work and talk of your deeds. Your way, O Elohim, is in set-apartness. Who is a great El like Elohim? You are the El who does wonders. You have made known your strength among the peoples. By your arm you have redeemed your people, the sons of Jacob and Yosef, Selah. The waters saw you, O Elohim. The waters saw you. They were afraid. The depths also trembled. The clouds poured out water. The heavens rumbled. Also your arrows flashed back and forth. The voice of your thunder rolled along. Lightnings lit up the world. The earth trembled and shook. Your way was in the sea, and your path in the great waters, and your footsteps were not known. You did lead your people like a flock by the hand of Moshe and Aharon. Chapter 78 My people, give ear to my Torah. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I open my mouth in a parable. I utter riddles of old, which we have heard and known, for our fathers have related them to us. We do not hide them from their children, relating to the generation to come the praises of Yahuwah and His strength and His wonders which He has done. For He raised a witness in Yaakov, and He set a Torah in Yisrael, which he commanded our fathers to teach them to their children, that it might be known to a generation to come, to children who would be born, to rise up and relate them to their children and place their trust in Elohim and not forget the works of El, but watch over his commands and not be like their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation which did not prepare its heart whose spirit was not steadfast to El. The children of Ephraim, armed bowmen, turned back in the day of battle. They did not guard the covenant of Elohim, and they refused to walk in his Torah, and they forgot his deeds and his wonders which he had shown them. He did wonders in the sight of their fathers in the land of Mitzrayim, in the field of Zoan. He split the sea and caused them to pass through, And he made the water stand up like a heap and led them with a cloud by day and all the night with a light of fire. He split the rocks in the wilderness and made them drink as from the great depths and brought forth streams from the rock and caused waters to come down as rivers. Yet they sinned still more against him to rebel against the Most High in the desert. And they tried El in their heart by asking food according to their desire. And they spoke against Elohim. They said, Is El able to set a table in the wilderness? Look, he struck the rock so that the waters gushed out and the streams overflowed. Is he able to give bread also? Would he provide meat for his people? Therefore Yahuwah heard, and he was wroth. So a fire was kindled against Jacob, and displeasure also came up against Yisrael because they did not believe in Elohim, neither did they trust in his deliverance. Yet he had commanded the clouds above and opened the doors of the heavens, and he rained down manna on them to eat, and he gave them the grain of the heavens. Men ate the bread of the mighty. He sent them provisions to satisfaction. He made an east wind blow in the heavens, and by his power he brought in the south wind. And he rained meat on them like the dust, and winged birds like the sand of the seas, and let them fall in the midst of his camp, all around his dwelling place. So they ate, and were completely satisfied, for he brought them what they desired. They were not estranged from their desire. Their food was still in their mouths when the wrath of Elohim came against them. And he killed among their fat ones, and he struck down the choice ones of Yisrael. In spite of all of this, they still sinned, 
and did not believe in his wonders. So he ended their days in a breath and their years in trouble. When he killed them, then they sought him, and they returned and did earnestly seek El. And they remembered that Elohim was their rock, and the Most High El, their Redeemer. But they flattered him with their mouth, and they lied to him with their tongue, for their heart was not steadfast with him, and they were not true to his covenant. But he, the compassionate one, pardoned crookedness and did not destroy them. And many a time he turned his displeasure away and did not stir up all his wrath, for he remembered that they were but flesh, a passing breath that does not return. How often they rebelled against him in the wilderness and grieved him in the desert. And again and again they tried El and provoked the set-apart one of Yisrael. They did not remember his hand the day when he redeemed them from the adversary, how he worked his signs in Mitzrayim and his wonders in the field of Zoan. He turned their rivers into blood and they could not drink their streams. He sent among them swarms of flies which devoured them and frogs which destroyed them and gave their crops to the caterpillar and their labor to the locusts. He destroyed their vines with hail and their sycamore trees with frost and gave their beasts over to the hail and their livestock to bolts of fire. He sent on them the burning of his displeasure, wrath and rage and distress, a deputation of messengers of evils. He made a path for his displeasure. He did not spare their being from death, but gave their life over to the plague. And he struck all the firstborn in Mitzrayim, the first fruits of strength in the tents of Ham. Then made his own people go forth like sheep and led them in the wilderness like a flock. And he led them on safely, and they did not fear. But the sea covered their enemies, and he brought them to the border of his set-apart place. This mountain, which his right hand had gained, and drove out nations before them, and allotted them a measured inheritance, and made the tribes of Israel dwell in their tents. Yet they tried and rebelled against the Most High Elohim, and did not guard His witnesses. But they turned back, and acted treacherously like their fathers. They twisted like a treacherous bow, for they enraged Him with their high places, and moved Him to jealousy with their carved images. When Elohim heard this, He was wroth, and greatly despised Yisrael. And he left the dwelling place of Shiloh, the tent which he had set up among men. And he gave his strength into captivity and his comeliness into the hand of the adversary. And he gave his people over to the sword. And he was wroth with his inheritance. His young men were consumed by fire and his maidens were not praised. His priests fell by the sword and their widows could not weep. Then Yahuwah awoke as one asleep, as a mighty man who shouts because of wine, and he struck his adversary backward. He put them to an everlasting reproach. Then he rejected the tent of Yosef and did not choose the tribe of Ephraim, but chose the tribe of Yehuda, Mount Zion, which he loved. And he built his set-apart place like the heights, like the earth he founded it forever. And he chose David, his servant, and took him from the sheepfolds. He brought him in from tending the ewes to shepherd Jacob, his people, and Israel, his inheritance. And he shepherded them according to the integrity of his heart and led them by the skill of his hands. Chapter 79 O Elohim, The nations have come into your inheritance. They have defiled your set-apart hakal. They turned Jerusalem into ruins. They have given the dead bodies of your servants as food for the birds of the heavens, the flesh of your lovingly committed ones to the wild beasts of the earth. They have poured out their blood like water all around Jerusalem, with no one to bury them. We have become a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and a mockery to those who are around us. How long, O Yahuwah, would you be enraged forever? 
Would your jealousy burn like fire? Pour out your wrath on the nations who have not known you, and on the rains that have not called on your name. For they have devoured Jacob and laid waste his pasture. Do not remember against us the crookedness of the fathers. Let your compassion speedily meet us, for we have been greatly weakened. Help us, O Elohim of our deliverance, for the sake of the esteem of your name, and deliver us and cover over our sins for your name's sake. Why should the nation say, Where is their Elohim? Let the vengeance of the outpoured blood of your servants be known among the nations before our eyes. Let the groaning of the prisoner come before you according to the greatness of your arm. Preserve those appointed to death and repay to our neighbors sevenfold their reproach into their bosom with which they have reproached you, O Yahuwah. And we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture, we give thanks to you forever. From generation to generation, we show forth your praise. Chapter 80 Give ear, O shepherd of Yisrael, who leads Yosef like a flock, who dwells between the cherubim, shine forth. Before Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh, stir up your might and come and save us. Cause us to turn back, O Elohim, and cause your face to shine, that we might be saved. O Yahuwah Elohim of hosts, how long shall you be wroth against the prayer of your people? You have caused them to eat the bread of tears and have caused them to drink with tears a third time. You have made us a strife to our neighbors and our enemies laugh among themselves. Turn us back, O Elohim of hosts, and cause your face to shine that we might be saved. You brought out a vine out of Mitzrayim. You drove out the nations and planted it. You cleared a place for it and caused it to take deep root, and it filled the land and the mighty cedars with its twigs. She spread her branches to the sea and her shoots to the river. Why have you broken down her hedges so that every passerby plucked her fruit? The boar out of the forest ravages it, and the wild beast of the field devours it. Return, we beg you, O Elohim of hosts, look down from heaven and see and visit this vine and the stalk which your right hand has planted and the son whom you made strong for yourself. It is burned with fire. It is cut down. They perish at the rebuke of your face. Let your hand be upon the one at your right hand, upon the son of Adam, whom you made strong for yourself. And we shall not backslide from you. Revive us and let us call upon your name. Turn us back, O Yahuwah Elohim of hosts, and cause your face to shine that we might be saved. Chapter 81 Shout for joy to Elohim our strength. Raise a shout to the Elohim of Jacob. Lift up a song and beat the tambourine, the pleasant lyre, and with the harp. Blow a shofar in the new moon, in the covering for the day of our festival. For this is a law for Yisrael, and a right ruling of the Elohim of Jacob. He appointed it in Yehoseph for a witness when he went throughout the land of Mitzrayim. I heard a language that I did not know. He says, I removed his shoulder from the burden. His hands were freed from the baskets. You called in distress and I rescued you. I answered you in the covering of thunder. I proved you at the waters of Meribah. Selah. Hear, O my people, and let me warn you. O Yisrael, if you would listen to me, let there be no strange mighty one among you and do not bow down to a foreign mighty one. I am Yahuwah, your Elohim, who brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim. Open your mouth wide and I fill it. But my people did not listen to my voice and Yisrael would not submit to me. So I gave them over to their own stubborn heart to walk in their own counsels. Oh, if my people had listened to me, Yisrael would walk in my ways. I would subdue their enemies at once and turn my hand against their adversaries. Those who hate Yahuwah would cringe before him. 
and their time of punishment be forever. He would feed them with the finest of wheat and with honey from the rock. I would satisfy you. Chapter 82 Elohim stands in the congregation of El. He judges in the midst of the Elohim. How long would you judge perversely and show partiality to the wrong? Say La. Give right ruling to the poor and fatherless. Do right to the afflicted and needy. Rescue the poor and needy. Deliver them from the hand of the wrong. They do not know, nor do they understand. They walk about in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. I, I said, you are Elohim, and all of you are sons of the Most High. But as men you die and fall as one of the heads. Arise, O Elohim, judge the earth, for you shall possess all the nations. Chapter 83 O Elohim, do not remain silent. Do not be speechless, and do not be still, O El. For look, your enemies make an uproar, and those hating you have lifted up their head. They craftily plot against your people and conspire against your treasured ones. They have said, Come, let us wipe them out as a nation, and let the name of Yisrael be remembered no more. For they have conspired together with one heart. They have made a covenant against you, the tents of Edom and the Yishmaelites, Moab and the Hagarites, Gibal and Ammon and Amalek, Philistia with the inhabitants of Zor. Asher also has joined with them. They have helped the children of Lot. Selah. Do to them as to Midian, as to Sisera, as to Yabin at the Wadi Kishon, who perished at Endor, who became as dung for the ground. Make their nobles like Oreb, and like Zeb, and all their princes like Zeba and Zalmunna, who have said, Let us take possession of the pastures of Elohim for ourselves. O oh, my Elohim, make them as whirling dust, as stubble before the wind, as a fire consumes a forest, and as a flame sets mountains on fire. So pursue them with your whirlwind, and frighten them with your storm. Fill their faces with shame and let them seek your name, O Yahuwah. Let them be ashamed and alarmed forever and let them become abashed and perish. And let them know that you, whose name is Yahuwah, you alone are the most high over all the earth. Chapter 84 How lovely are your dwelling places, O Yahuwah of hosts! My being has longed and even fainted for the courts of Yahuwah. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living El. Even the sparrow has found a home, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she has put her young ones. Your slaughter places, O Yahuwah of hosts, my sovereign and my Elohim. Blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you. Selah. Blessed is the man whose strength is in you. Your highways are in their heart. Passing through the valley of weeping, they make it a fountain. The teacher also covers it with blessings. They go from strength to strength, appearing before Elohim and Zion. O Yahuwah Elohim of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O Elohim of Jacob. Selah. O Elohim, see our shield and look upon the face of your anointed. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand days. I have chosen rather to be a doorkeeper in the house of my Elohim than to dwell in the tents of the wrong. For Yahuwah Elohim is a sun and a shield. Yahuwah gives favor and esteem. He withholds no good matter from those who walk blamelessly. O Yahuwah of hosts, Blessed is the man who trusts in you. Chapter 85 Yahuwah, you shall take pleasure in your land. You shall turn back the captivity of Jacob. You shall take away the crookedness of your people. 
You shall cover all their sin, Selah. You shall withdraw all your wrath. You shall turn from your fierce displeasure. Turn back to us, O Elohim of our deliverance, and cause your vexation towards us to cease. Would you be enraged with us forever? Would you draw out your displeasure from generation to generation? Would you not revive us again for your people to rejoice in you? Show us your loving commitment, O Yahuwah, and give us your deliverance. Let me hear what El Yahuwah speaks, for he speaks peace to his people and to his lovingly committed ones, and let them not turn again to folly. Truly, his deliverance is near to those who fear him, for esteem to dwell in our land. Loving commitment and truth shall meet. Righteousness and peace shall kiss. Truth sprouts forth from the earth, and righteousness looks down from heaven. Indeed, Yahuwah gives what is good, and our land yields its increase. Righteousness goes before him and prepares a way for his footsteps. Chapter 86 Incline your ear, O Yahuwah. Answer me, for I am poor and needy. Guard my being, for I am lovingly committed. You are my Elohim. Save your servant who is trusting in you. Show favor to me, O Yahuwah, for I cry to you all day long. Bring joy to the being of your servant, for to you, O Yahuwah, I lift up my being. For you, Yahuwah, are good and ready to forgive and great and loving commitment to all those who call upon you. Give ear, O Yahuwah, to my prayer, and listen to the voice of my pleadings. In the day of my distress I call upon you, for you answer me. There is none like you among the mighty ones, O Yahuwah, and like your works there are none. Let all nations you have made come and bow themselves before you, O Yahuwah, and give esteem to your name. For you are great and are doing wonders. You are Elohim, you alone. Teach me your way, O Yahuwah. Let me walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I praise you, O Yahuwah, my Elohim, with all my heart. And I esteem your name forever. For your loving commitment is great towards me. And you have delivered my being from the depths of Sheol. O Elohim, the proud have risen against me, and a band of dreaded men have sought my life, and have not set you before them. But you, O Yahuwah, are a compassionate El, and showing favor, patient, and great in loving commitment and truth. Turn to me, and show favor to me, Give your strength to your servant and save the son of your female servant. Show me a sign for good and let those hating me see it and be ashamed. For you, Yahuwah, have helped me and comforted me. Chapter 87 His foundation is in the set-apart mountains. Yahuwah loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Esteemed matters are spoken of you, O city of Elohim, Selah. I mention Rahab and Babel to those who know me. See, O Philistia, and Zor with Cush. This and that one was born there, and of Zion it is said, each one was born in her. For the Most High himself does establish her. Yahuwah does write in the register of the peoples, This one was born there. Selah. And the singers and the players on instruments, all my fountains are in you. Chapter 88 O Yahuwah, Elohim of my deliverance, by day I have cried out, in the night also before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my cry, for my being is filled with evils and my life draws near to Sheol. I have been reckoned among those who go down to the pit. I have become like a man who has no strength, released among the dead, like slain ones lying in the burial site, 
whom you have remembered no more, and who have been cut off from your hand. You have put me in the lowest pit, in dark places, in the depths. Your wrath has rested heavily upon me, and you have afflicted me with all your breakers. Selah. You have put away my friends far from me. You have made me an abomination to them. I am shut in and do not go out. My eyes grow dim because of affliction. Yahuwah, I have called upon you all day long. I have stretched out my hands to you. Would you work wonders for the dead? Would the dead rise to praise you? Selah. Is your loving commitment declared in the burial site? Your trustworthiness in the place of destruction? Are your wonders known in the dark? And your righteousness in the land of no remembrance? But I, unto you I have cried, O Yahuwah, and in the morning my prayer comes before you. Yahuwah, why do you reject me? Why do you hide your face from me? I am afflicted and dying from childhood. I have borne frightening matters from you. I am in despair. Your fierce wrath has gone over me. Your onslaughts have cut me off. They surrounded me like water all day long. They close in upon me altogether. You have put loved one and companion far from me. Darkness is my close friend. Chapter 89 I sing of the loving commitment of Yahuwah forever. With my mouth I make known your trustworthiness to all generations. For I said loving commitment is built up forever. You establish your trustworthiness in the heavens. You said I have made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn to my servant David. I establish your seed forever and shall build up your throne to all generations. Selah. And the heavens praise your wonders, O Yahuwah, your trustworthiness too, in the assembly of the set-apart ones. For who in the heavens is comparable to Yahuwah? Who among the sons of the mighty is like Yahuwah? El is greatly feared in the company of the set-apart ones, and awesome above all those around him. O Yahuwah Elohim of hosts, who is mighty like you, O oh Yah? And your trustworthiness is all around you. You rule the swelling of the sea. When its waves rise, you still them. You have broken Rahab in pieces, as one who is slain. You have scattered your enemies with the arm of your strength. The heavens are yours. The earth also is yours. The world and all that fills it. You have founded them. North and south, you have created them. Tabor, Hermon, rejoice in your name. You have a mighty arm. Your hand is strong. Your right hand exalted. Righteousness and right ruling are the foundation of your throne. Loving commitment and truth go before your face. Blessed are the people who know the sounding. They walk, O Yahuwah, in the light of your face. In your name, they rejoice all day long and they are exalted in your righteousness. For you are the comeliness of their strength, and by your good pleasure our horn is exalted. For Yahuwah is our shield, and the set-apart one of Yisrael is our sovereign. Then you spoke in a vision to your lovingly committed one, and you said, I have given help to one who is mighty. I have exalted one chosen from the people. I have found my servant David, with my set-apart oil, I anointed him, with whom my hand is established. My arm also strengthens him. No enemy subjects him to tribute, and no son of wickedness afflicts him. And I shall beat down his adversaries before his face, and plague those who hate him. But my trustworthiness and my loving commitment are with him, and in my name his horn is exalted. And I shall set his hand on the sea, and his right hand on the rivers. He calls out to me, You are my father, my El and the rock of my deliverance. I also appoint him firstborn, highest of the sovereigns of the earth. 
I guard my loving commitment for him forever, and my covenant is steadfast with him. And I shall establish his seed forever, and his throne as the days of the heavens. If his sons forsake my Torah, and do not walk in my right rulings, if they profane my laws and do not guard my commands, then I shall visit their transgression with the rod, and their crookedness with flogging. But my loving commitment I do not take away from him, nor be false to my trustworthiness. I shall not profane my covenant, neither would I change what has gone out from my lips. Once I have sworn by my set-apartness, I do not lie to David. His seed shall be forever, and his throne is the sun before me. Like the moon it is established forever, and the witness in the heaven is steadfast, said La. Yet you have rejected and spurned. You have been wroth with your anointed. You have disowned the covenant of your servant. You have defiled his diadem in the dust. You have broken down all his hedges. You have brought his strongholds to ruin. All who pass by the way plunder him. He is a reproach to his neighbors. You have exalted the right hand of his adversaries. You have made all his enemies rejoice. Moreover, you have turned back the edge of his sword and have not made him stand in battle. You have brought an end to his splendor and have hurled his throne to the ground. You have shortened the days of his youth. You have covered him with shame. Selah. How long, O Yahuwah, would you be hidden? Would your wrath burn like fire forever? Please remember how short my time is. Why should you have created all the sons of men for naught? What man would live and not see death? Who rescues his life from the power of Sheol? Said La. Yahuwah, where are your former loving commitments, which you swore to David in your trustworthiness? Yahuwah, remember the reproach of your servants that I have borne in my bosom of all the many peoples with which your enemies have reproached, O Yahuwah, with which they have reproached the footsteps of your anointed. Blessed be Yahuwah forever. Amen and amen. Chapter 90 Yahuwah, you have been our refuge in all generations before the mountains were born, where you had brought forth the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting. You are El. You turn man back to dust and say, Return, O children of men. For a thousand years in your eyes are like yesterday that is past, or like a watch in the night. You have swept them away. They are as sleep, like grass that springs up in the morning. In the morning it flourishes and springs up, at evening it is cut down and withered. For we have been consumed by your displeasure, and by your wrath we are alarmed. You have set our crookedness before you, our secret sin in the light of your face. For all our days have passed away in your wrath. We spend our years like a whisper. The days of our lives are seventy years, or if due to strength, eighty years. Yet the best of them is but toil and exertion, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. Who knows the power of your displeasure and your wrath according to the fear of you? Teach us to number our days and let us bring the heart to wisdom. Return, O Yahuwah, how long? And be sorry for your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your loving commitment and let us sing for joy all our days. Give us joy according to the days you have afflicted us, the years we have seen evil. Reveal your work to your servants and your splendor to their children and let the pleasantness of Yahuwah our Elohim be upon us and confirm the work of our hands for us. O oh, confirm the work of our hands. Chapter 91 he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High, who abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He is saying of Yahuwah, My refuge and my stronghold, my Elohim in whom I trust. For he delivers you from the snare of a trapper, 
from the destructive pestilence. He covers you with his pinion, and under his wings you take refuge. His truth is a shield and armor. You are not afraid of the dread by night, of the arrow that flies by day, of the pestilence that walks in darkness, of destruction that ravages at midday. A thousand fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it does not come near you. Only with your eyes you look on and see the reward of the wrong ones, because you have made Yahuwah my refuge, the Most High your dwelling place. No evil befalls you, and a plague does not come near your tent. For he commands his messengers concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You tread upon lion and cobra, young lion and serpent you trample underfoot. Because he cleaves to me in love, therefore I deliver him, I set him on high, because he has known my name. When he calls on me, I answer him. I am with him in distress. I deliver him and esteem him. With long life, I satisfy him and show him my deliverance. Chapter 92 It is good to give thanks to Yahuwah and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your loving commitment in the morning and your trustworthiness each night on ten strings and on the harp to the sounding chords of the lyre. For you have made me rejoice with your work, O Yahuwah. I shout for joy at the works of your hands. O Yahuwah, how great are your works. Your thoughts are very deep. A senseless man does not know, and a fool does not understand this. When the wrong spring up like grass, and all the workers of wickedness blossom, it is for them to be destroyed forever. But you, Yahuwah, are on high forever. For look, your enemies, O Yahuwah. For look, your enemies do perish. All the workers of wickedness are scattered. But you lift up my horn like a wild ox. I have been anointed with fresh oil, and my eyes look upon my enemies. My ears hear the evildoers who rise up against me. The righteous one flourishes like a palm tree. He grows like a cedar in Lebanon. Those who are planted in the house of Yahuwah flourish in the courts of our Elohim. They still bear fruit in old age. They are fresh and green. To declare that Yahuwah is straight, my rock, and in him is no unrighteousness. Chapter 93 Yahuwah shall reign. He shall put on excellency. Yahuwah shall put on strength. He shall gird himself. Indeed, the world is established, immovable. Your throne is established from of old. You are from everlasting. Rivers shall lift up, O Yahuwah. Rivers shall lift up their voice. Rivers shall lift up their breakers. Yahuwah on high is mightier than the noise of many waters the mighty breakers of the sea. Your witnesses have been very trustworthy. Set apartness befets your house, O Yahuwah, forever. Chapter 94 O Yahuwah, El of vengeance, O El of vengeance, shine forth. Raise yourself up, O judge of the earth. Render punishment to the proud. Yahuwah, how long are the wrong, how long are the wrong going to exalt? They pour forth words, they speak arrogantly. All the workers of wickedness boast in themselves. They crush your people, O Yahuwah, and they afflict your inheritance. They kill the widow and the sojourner and murder the fatherless. Yet they say, Yah does not see, and the Elohim of Yaakov pays no heed. Take heed, you senseless among the people, and you fools. When would you become wise? He who planted the ear, does he not hear? He who formed the eye, does he not see? He who disciplines the nations, does he not reprove? The one teaching man knowledge, 
Yahuwah knows the thoughts of man, that they are but a breath. Blessed is the man you discipline, O Yah, and instruct out of your Torah to give him rest from the days of evil until the pit is dug for the wrong. For Yahuwah does not leave his people, nor does he forsake his inheritance. For right ruling returns man to righteousness, and all the upright in heart follow it. Who would rise up for me against evildoers? Who would stand up for me against workers of wickedness? If Yahuwah had not been my help, my being would soon have settled in silence. When I said, my foot has slipped, your loving commitment, O Yahuwah, supported me. When anxiety was great within me, your comforts delighted my being. Would a throne of destruction, which devises trouble by law, be joined with you? They band together against the life of the righteous and declare innocent blood wrong. But Yahuwah is my defense and my Elohim the rock of my refuge and brings back on them their own wickedness and cuts them off in their own wrongdoing. Yahuwah our Elohim does cut them off. Chapter 95 Come, let us sing to Yahuwah let us raise a shout to the rock of our deliverance. Let us come before his face with thanksgiving. Let us raise a shout to him in song. For Yahuwah is a great El and a great sovereign above all mighty ones. In whose hand are the depths of the earth. The mountain peaks are his also. His is the sea, for he made it. And his hands formed the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend low. Let us kneel before Yahuwah, our Maker, for He is our Elohim, and we are the people of His pasture and the sheep of His hand. Today, if you would hear His voice, do not harden your hearts as in Maribah, as in the day of Massa in the wilderness, when your fathers tried me, have proved me, though they saw my work. For forty years I was grieved with that generation and said, They are a people who go astray in their hearts, and they do not know my ways. As I swore in my wrath, if they enter into my rest. Chapter 96 Sing to Yahuwah a new song. Sing to Yahuwah all the earth. Sing to Yahuwah. Bless His name. Proclaim His deliverance from day to day. Declare his esteem among the nations, his wonders among all peoples. For great is Yahuwah, and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all mighty ones. For all the mighty ones of the people are matters of naught. But Yahuwah made the heavens. Excellency and splendor are before him. Strength and comeliness are in his set-apart place. Ascribe to Yahuwah, O clans of the peoples. Ascribe to Yahuwah esteem and strength. Ascribe to Yahuwah the esteem of his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Bow yourselves to Yahuwah in the splendor of set-apartness. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among nations, Yahuwah shall reign. The world also is established, immovable. He judges the people in straightness. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the field exult in all that is in it. Let all the trees of the forest then shout for joy at the presence of Yahuwah. For he shall come, for he shall come to judge the earth. He judges the world in righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Chapter 97 Yahuwah shall reign. The earth rejoices. Many isles are glad. Clouds and darkness all around him. Righteousness and right ruling are the foundation of his throne. Fire goes before him and burns up his adversaries round about. His lightning shall light up the world. The earth shall see and tremble. The mountains shall melt like wax before the face of Yahuwah, before the face of the Master of all the earth. 
The heaven shall declare his righteousness, and all the people shall see his esteem. All are put to shame who serve carved images. Those boasting of matters of naught, bow yourselves to him, all you mighty ones. Zion shall hear and be glad, and the daughters of Yehuda rejoice. Because of your right rulings, O Yahuwah, for you, Yahuwah, are the most high over all the earth. You shall be greatly exalted over all mighty ones. You who love Yahuwah hate evil. He guards the lives of his lovingly committed ones. He delivers them out of the hand of the wrong. Light is sown for the righteous and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in Yahuwah, you righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his set-apartness. Chapter 98 Sing to Yahuwah a new song, for he has done wonders. His right hand and his set-apart arm have brought him deliverance. Yahuwah has made known his deliverance. His righteousness he has openly shown. Before the eyes of the nations, he has remembered his loving commitment and his trustworthiness to the house of Yisrael. All the ends of the earth have seen the deliverance of our Elohim. Raise a shout to Yahuwah, all the earth. Break forth in song, rejoice and sing praises. Sing to Yahuwah with the lyre, with the lyre and the voice of a song, with trumpets and a voice of a shofar. Raise a shout before Yahuwah, the sovereign. Let the sea roar in all that fills it, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the mountains sing together for joy before Yahuwah. For he shall come to judge the earth. He judges the world in righteousness and the people in straightness. Chapter 99 Yahuwah shall reign Peoples tremble. He is enthroned on the cherubim. The earth shakes. Yahuwah is great in Zion, and he is high above all the peoples. They praise your name, great and awesome. It is set apart, and the strength of the sovereign shall love right ruling. You yourself shall establish straightness. You shall execute right ruling and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt Yahuwah our Elohim, and bow yourselves at his footstool. He is set apart. Moshe and Aharon were among his priests, and Shemuel was among those calling upon his name. They called upon Yahuwah, and he answered them. He spoke to them in the column of cloud. They guarded his witnesses and the law he gave them. You answered them, O Yahuwah our Elohim. You were a forgiving El to them, though you took vengeance on their deeds. Exalt Yahuwah our Elohim, and bow down towards his set-apart mountain. For Yahuwah our Elohim is set apart. Chapter 100 Raise a shout for Yahuwah all the earth. Serve Yahuwah with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that Yahuwah he is Elohim. He has made us, and we are His, His people, and the sheep of His pasture. Enter into His gates with thanksgiving, and into His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him, bless His name. For Yahuwah is good, His loving commitment is everlasting, and His truth to all generations. Chapter 101 I sing of loving commitment and right ruling. To you, O Yahuwah, I sing praises. I act wisely in a perfect way. When do you come to me? I walk in the midst of my house with a perfect heart. I set no matter of Belial before my eyes. I hate the work of those who fall away. It does not cleave to me. A perverse heart turns away from me. I do not know evil. Him who secretly slanders his neighbor, I cut off. I do not tolerate one who has a haughty look and a proud heart. My eyes are on the trustworthy of the land to dwell with me. He who walks in a perfect way, he serves me. He who practices deceit does not dwell in my house. He who speaks lies does not stand in my presence. 
each morning I uproot all the wrong of the land to cut off all the workers of wickedness from the city of Yahuwah. Chapter 102 O Yahuwah, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress and incline your ear to me in the day I call. Answer me speedily, for my days are consumed like smoke, and my bones are burned like a hearth. My heart is stricken and withered like grass, for I have gotten to eat my bread. Because of the sound of my sighing, my bones have cleaved to my flesh. I have been like a pelican of the wilderness. I have been like an owl of the desert. I have watched, and I am as a bird alone on the housetop. My enemies reproached me all day long. Those who rave against me have sworn against me. For I have eaten ashes like bread and mixed my drink with tears because of your displeasure and your wrath. For you have lifted me up and thrown me down. My days are like a shadow that lengthens and I wither away like grass. But you... O Yahuwah shall be enthroned forever, and the remembrance of you be to all generations. You yourself shall arise and have compassion on Zion for the time to favor her. The appointed time has come, for your servants have been pleased with her stones, and they favor her dust. And the nations shall fear the name of Yahuwah, and all the sovereigns of the earth your esteem. For Yahuwah shall build up Zion. He shall appear in his esteem. He shall turn unto the prayer of the destitute. And he shall not despise their prayer. This is written for a generation to come. So that a people to be created praise Yah. For he looked down from the height of his set apart place. From heaven Yahuwah viewed the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoner. To release those appointed to death to declare the name of Yahuwah in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem, When peoples gather together and reigns to serve Yahuwah, he has humbled my strength in the way. He has shortened my days. I said, O oh my El, do not take me away in the midst of my days. Your years are throughout all generations. You did found the earth of old, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They shall perish, but you remain. And all of them grow old like a garment. You change them like a coat, and they are changed. But you are the same, and your years have no end. The sons of your servants continue, and their seed is established before you. Chapter 103 Bless Yahuwah, O my being, and all that is within me. Bless his set-apart name. Bless Yahuwah, O my being, and do not forget all his dealings. Who forgives all your crookednesses. Who heals all your diseases. Who redeems your life from destruction. Who crowns you with loving commitment and compassion. Who satisfies your desire with the good. Your youth is renewed like the eagles. Yahuwah is doing righteousness and right ruling for all the oppressed. He made known his ways to Moshe, his acts, the children of Israel. Yahuwah is compassionate and showing favor, patient and great in loving commitment. He does not always strive nor maintain it forever. He has not done to us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our crookedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his loving commitment towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion for his children, so Yahuwah has compassion for those who fear him. For he knows how we are made. He remembers that we are dust. A man's days are like grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind blows over it, and it is no more, and its place no longer remembers it. But the loving commitment of Yahuwah is from everlasting to everlasting upon those who fear Him, and His righteousness to children's children, to those who guard His covenant, and to those who remember His orders 
to do them. Yahuwah has established his throne in the heavens, and his reign shall rule over all. Bless Yahuwah, you his messengers, mighty in power, who do his word, listening to the voice of his word. Bless Yahuwah, all you his hosts, you his servants who do his pleasure. Bless Yahuwah, all his works in all places of his rule. Bless Yahuwah, O oh my being. Chapter 104 Bless Yahuwah, O oh my being. O oh Yahuwah, my Elohim, you have been very great. You have put on excellency and splendor, covering yourself with light as with a garment, stretching out the heavens like a curtain, who is laying the beams of his upper rooms in the waters, who is making thick clouds his chariot, who is walking on the wings of the wind, making his messengers the winds, his servants a flame of fire. He established the earth on its foundations so that it would not totter forever. You covered it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke, they flee. At the voice of your thunder, they hurry away. They go up the mountains. They go down the valleys to the place which you founded for them. You did set a boundary. They do not pass over. They do not return to cover the earth. Who is sending the springs into the valleys? They flow among the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. Wild donkeys break their thirst. The birds of the heavens dwell beside them. They sing from between the branches, watering the hills from his upper rooms. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of your works, causing the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for the service of mankind to bring forth food from the earth and wine that makes glad the heart of man, oil to make the face shine, and bread which sustains man's heart. The trees of Yahuwah are satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon which he planted, where the birds do make nests. The stork has her home in the fir trees. The high hills are for wild goats, rocks a refuge for rock badgers. He made the moon for appointed times. The sun knows it's going down. You put darkness and it is night. In it all the beasts of the forest creep. The young lions are roaring for prey and seeking their food from El. The sun arises. They withdraw and lie down in their dens. Man goes out to his work and to his labor till evening. O oh, Yahuwah, how many have been your works. You have made all of them in wisdom. The earth is filled with your possessions. There is the sea, great and wide, in which are innumerable swarms, living creatures small with great. There do ships go, that Leviathan which you made, to play there. All of them wait for you to give their food in due season. You give to them, they gather in. You open your hand and they are satisfied with good. You hide your face, they are alarmed. You take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. You send forth your spirit, they are created. And you renew the face of the earth. The esteem of Yahuwah is forever. Yahuwah rejoices in his works. Who looks on the earth and it trembles. He touches the mountains and they smoke. I sing to Yahuwah as I live. I sing praise to my Elohim while I exist. My meditation on Him is sweet. I rejoice in Yahuwah. Let sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wrong be no more. Bless Yahuwah, O my being. Praise Yah. Chapter 105 Give thanks to Yahuwah. Call upon His name. Make known His deeds among the peoples. Sing to Him. Sing praise to Him. Speak of all His wonders. Make your boast in His set-apart name. Let the hearts rejoice of those seeking Yahuwah. Seek Yahuwah and His strength. Seek His face always. Remember His wonders which He has done his miracles, and the right rulings of his mouth. O seed of Abraham, 
his servant, children of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is Yahuwah our Elohim. His right rulings are in all the earth. He has remembered his covenant forever, the word he commanded for a thousand generations. The covenant he made with Abraham and his oath to Yitzhak and established it to Jacob for a law, to Yisrael, an everlasting covenant, saying, To you I give the land of Canaan, the portion of your inheritance. When they were few in number, few indeed, and sojourners in it, and they went about from one nation to another, from one reign to another people, he allowed no one to oppress them, and he reproved sovereigns for their sakes, saying, Do not touch my anointed ones, and do my prophets no evil. And he called for a scarcity of food in the land. He cut off all the supply of bread. He sent ahead of them a man, Yosef, sold as a slave. They afflicted his feet with shackles. His neck was put in irons. Until the time that his word came, the word of Yahuwah tried him. The sovereign sent and released him, The ruler of the people let him loose. He made him master of his house and ruler over all his possessions to bind his chiefs at his pleasure and to teach his elders wisdom. Then Yisrael came to Mitzrayim and Jacob sojourned in the land of Ham and he increased his people greatly and made them stronger than their enemies. He turned their heart to hate his people to conspire against his servants. He sent Moshe, his servant, a Haron whom he had chosen. They set among them the matters of his signs and wonders in the land of Ham. He sent darkness and made it dark, and they did not rebel against his word. He turned their waters into blood and killed their fish. Their land teemed with frogs. In the rooms of their sovereigns, He spoke, and swarms of flies came, gnats in all their borders. He gave them hail for rain, a flaming fire in their land. And he struck their vines and their fig trees, and broke the trees of their borders. He spoke, and locusts came, and larvae innumerable. And they devoured all the plants in their land, and they devoured the fruit of their ground. Then he struck all the firstborn in their land, the first of all their strength, and brought them out with silver and gold. And among his tribes no one faltered. Mitzrayim was glad when they left, for the fear of them had fallen upon them. He spread a cloud for a covering, and fire to give light in the night. They asked, and he brought quail, and satisfied them with the bread of heaven. He opened the rock, and water gushed out. It ran in the dry places a river. For he remembered his set-apart word to Abraham his servant. So he brought out his people with joy, his chosen ones with singing. And he gave to them the lands of the nations, and they inherited the labor of peoples in order that they might guard his laws and watch over his Torot. Praise Yah! Chapter 106 Praise Yah! Oh, give thanks to Yahuwah, for He is good, for His loving commitment is everlasting. Who does relate the mighty acts of Yahuwah or declare all His praise? Blessed are those who guard right ruling, who do righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Yahuwah, in the acceptance of your people. Visit me with your deliverance to see the good of your chosen ones, to rejoice in the gladness of your nation, to make my boast with your inheritance. We have sinned with our fathers. We have acted perversely. We have done wrong. Our fathers in Mitzrayim did not understand your wonders. They did not remember your many loving commitments, but rebelled by the sea, the sea of reeds. But he saved them for his name's sake to make known his might. And he rebuked the sea of reeds, and it dried up. And he led them through the depths, through a wilderness. He saved them from the hand of the hater, and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. 
and waters covered their adversaries. Not one of them was left. Then they believed his words. They sang his praise. They soon forgot his works. They did not wait for his counsel, but greedily lusted in the wilderness and tried El in the desert. And he gave them their request, but sent leanness within their being. And they were jealous of Moshe in the camp, of Aharon, the set-apart one of Yahuwah. Then the earth opened up and swallowed Dathan and covered the company of Abiram, and a fire burned in their company. A flame consumed the wrong. They made a calf in Horeb and bowed down to a molded image. Thus they changed my esteem into the form of an ox that eats grass. They forgot El their savior, the doer of great deeds in Mitzrayim, of wonders in the land of Ham, of awesome deeds by the sea of reeds. Then he said that he would destroy them. Had not Moshe, his chosen one, stood before him in the breach to turn away his wrath. They then despised the pleasant land. They did not believe his word, and they grumbled in their tents. They did not listen to the voice of Yahuwah. So he lifted up his hand in an oath against them to make them fall in the wilderness and to make their seed fall among the nations and to scatter them in the lands. And they joined themselves to Baal Peor and ate slaughterings made to the dead. Thus they provoked him with their deeds and the plague broke out among them. Then Phinehas stood up and intervened and the plague was stopped and that was reckoned to him for righteousness to all generations forever. And they provoked wrath at the waters of Marebah, and Moshe suffered on account of them, because they embittered his spirit, and he spoke rashly with his lips. They did not destroy the peoples as Yahuwah had commanded them, but mixed with the nations and learned their works and served their idols. And they became a snare to them, and they slaughtered to their sons, and their daughters to demons. And they shed innocent blood, the blood of their sons and daughters, whom they slaughtered to the idols of Canaan. And the land was defiled with blood. So they became unclean by their own works and went whoring by their own deeds. And the wrath of Yahuwah burned against his people, and he loathed his own inheritance Then he gave them into the hand of the nations, and those who hated them ruled over them, and their enemies oppressed them, and they were humbled under their hand. Many times he delivered them, but they rebelled in their plans. So they were brought low for their crookedness, but he would look on their distress when he heard their cry, and remember his covenant for their sake, and relent according to the greatness of his loving commitment And he would let them find compassion before all those holding them captive. Save us, O Yahuwah, our Elohim, and gather us from among the nations to give thanks to your set-apart name, to exalt in your praise. Blessed be Yahuwah Elohim of Israel from everlasting to everlasting. And all the people shall say, Amen. Praise Yah. Chapter 107 Give thanks to Yahuwah, for He is good, for His loving commitment is everlasting. Let the redeemed of Yahuwah say so, whom He has redeemed from the hand of the adversary, and gathered out of the lands from east and from west, from north and from south. They wandered in a wilderness, in a desert way, They found no city to dwell in, hungry and thirsty. Their being in them grew faint. Then they cried out to Yahuwah in their distress. He delivered them out of their troubles, and he guided them by the right way to go to a city to settle. Let them give thanks to Yahuwah for his loving commitment and his wonders to the children of men. For he has satisfied a longing being and has filled the hungry being with goodness. Some sat in darkness and in the shadow of death, bound in affliction in irons, because they rebelled against the words of El and despised the counsel of the Most High. When he humbled their heart by toil, they stumbled and there was no one to help. 
And they cried out to Yahuwah in their distress, and He saved them out of their troubles. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death, and He broke their chains in pieces. Let them give thanks to Yahuwah for His loving commitment and His wonders to the children of men. For He has broken the gates of bronze, and He cut the bars of iron in two. Fools, because of their transgression and because of their crookedness, were afflicted. Their being loathed all food, and they drew near to the gates of death and cried out to Yahuwah in their distress. He saved them out of their troubles. He sent His word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Let them give thanks to Yahuwah for His loving commitment and His wonders to the children of men and let them slaughter slaughterings of thanksgiving and relate His works with rejoicing. Those who go down to the sea in ships, doing work in many waters, they see the works of Yahuwah and His wonders in the deep. For He commands and raises the stormy wind, which lifts up the waves of the sea. They go up to the heavens, they go down to the depths. Their being is melted because of evil. They celebrate and stagger like a drunkard, and all their wisdom is swallowed up. Then they cry out to Yahuwah in their distress, and He brings them out of their troubles. He caused the storm to be still, so that its waves were silent, and they rejoiced because they are hushed. And He leads them to the haven of their delight. Let them give thanks to Yahuwah for His loving commitment and His wonders to the children of men. And let them exalt Him in the assembly of the people, and praise Him in the seat of the elders. He makes rivers become a wilderness, and the fountains of water become a dry ground. A land of fruit becomes a salty desert, for the evil of those who dwell in it. He makes a wilderness become a pool of water, and dry land become fountains of waters. He causes the hungry to dwell there, and they build a city to settle in, and they sow fields and plant vineyards, and they make fruits of increase. And he blesses them, and they increase greatly. But he lets not their cattle diminish. But when they are diminished and brought low through oppression, evil, and sorrow, he pours scorn on nobles and causes them to wander in a pathless waste. But he raises the poor up from affliction and makes their clans like a flock. The straight ones see and rejoice, and all unrighteousness shuts its mouth. Who is wise? Then let him observe these matters. Let them understand the loving commitments of Yahuwah. Chapter 108 O Elohim, my heart is steadfast. I sing and give praise, even my esteem. Awake, harp and lyre. I awake the dawn. I praise you, O Yahuwah, among peoples, and I sing praises to you among the nations. For your loving commitment is great above the heavens, and your truth reaches to the clouds. Exalt yourself above the heavens, O Elohim, and your esteem above all the earth, in order that those you love might be delivered. Save with your right hand and answer me. Elohim has spoken in his set-apartness. I exalt, I portion out Shechem, and I measure out the valley of Sukkot. Gilad is mine. Manasseh is mine, and Ephraim is my chief defense. Yahuda is my inscriber. Moab is my washpot. Over Edom I cast my shoe. Over Philistia I raise a shout. Who would bring me into the strong city? Who shall lead me to Edom? Have you not rejected us, O Elohim? And you do not go out with our armies, O Elohim. Give us help from distress, for the help of man is not. In Elohim we do mightily, for it is He who treads down our adversaries. Chapter 109 Do not be silent, O Elohim of my praise, for the mouth of the wrong and the mouth of the deceiver have opened against me. They have spoken against me with a false tongue. They have surrounded me with words of hatred, and they attack me without a cause. In return for my love, they accuse me. While I am in prayer, and they repay me evil for good, and hatred for my love. 
Appoint over him one who is wrong, and let an accuser stand at his right hand. When he is judge, let him be found wrong, and let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few. Let another take his office. Let his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. And let his children always wander and beg and seek food out of their ruins. Let the creditor lay a snare for all that he has and let strangers plunder his labor. Let him have no one to extend loving commitment nor any to show favor to his fatherless children. Let his descendants be cut off their name be blotted out in the next generation. Let the crookedness of his fathers be remembered before Yahuwah, and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them always be before Yahuwah. Let him cut off their remembrance from the earth, because he did not remember to show loving commitment, but persecuted the poor and needy man, and the brokenhearted to put to death. He also loved cursing, So let it come to him. And he did not delight in blessing. So let it be far from him. And he put cursing on as with his garment. So let it enter his inward parts like water, into his bones and like oil. Let it be to him like a cloak he wraps around him, and as a girdle that he always girds on. This is the reward of my accusers from Yahuwah, and to those speaking evil against my being. But you, O Yahuwah, Master, deal with me for your name's sake, because your loving commitment is good. Deliver me, for I am poor and needy, and my heart is pierced within me. I have gone like a lengthening shadow. I have been driven away like a locust. My knees are weak through fasting, and my flesh grows lean from fatness. And I... I have become a reproach to them. They see me, they shake their heads. Help me, O Yahuwah, my Elohim. Save me according to your loving commitment and let them know that this is your hand. You, Yahuwah, have done it. Let them curse, but you bless. They shall arise, but be ashamed and let your servant rejoice. Let my accusers put on shame and be wrapped in their own confusion as in a cloak. I greatly thank Yahuwah with my mouth, and I praise him in the midst of the throng, for he stands at the right hand of the poor to save those judging his being. Chapter 110 Yahuwah said to my master, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. Yahuwah sends your mighty scepter out of Zion. Rule in the midst of your enemies. Your people volunteer in the day of your might, in the splendors of set-apartness. From the womb, from the morning, you have the dew of your youth. Yahuwah has sworn and does not relent. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. Yahuwah, at your right hand, shall smite sovereigns in the day of his wrath. He judges among the nations. He shall fill the nations with dead bodies. He shall crush the head over the mighty earth. He drinks of the stream by the wayside. Therefore he does lift up the head. Chapter 111 Aleph Praise Yah! I thank Yahuwah with all my heart. Bet, in the company of the straight and of the congregation, Gimel, great are the works of Yahuwah, Dalit, searched for by all who delight in them, Hey, splendor and greatness are his work, Vav, and his righteousness stands forever, Zion, he has made his wonders to be remembered, Chet, Yahuwah shows favor and is compassionate, Tet, he has given food to those who fear him. Yod, he remembers his covenant forever. Kof, he has shown his people the power of his works. Lamed, to give to them the inheritance of the nations. Mem, the work of his hand are truth and right ruling. Nun, all his orders are trustworthy. Samak, 
They are upheld forever and ever. Ion, performed in truth and straightness. Pei, he sent redemption to his people. Zadi, he has commanded his covenant forever. Kof, set apart and awesome is his name. Resh, the fear of Yahuwah is the beginning of wisdom. Sheen, all those doing them have a good understanding. Tav, his praise is standing forever. Chapter 112 Aleph, praise Yah. Blessed is the man who fears Yahuwah. Bet, who has greatly delighted in his commands. Gimel, mighty in the earth shall be his seed. Dalit, the generation of the straight ones shall be blessed. He, wealth and riches are in his house. Vav, and his righteousness is standing forever. Zion, light has risen in the darkness to the straight ones, those showing favor. Chet, the compassionate and the righteous. Tet, good is a man showing favor and lending. Yod, he sustains his matters in right ruling. Kof, for he is never shaken. Lamed, the righteous is remembered forever. Mem, he is not afraid of an evil report. Noon, his heart is steadfast, trusting in Yahuwah. Samak, his heart is upheld, he is not afraid. Ayan, while he looks on his adversaries. Pei, he scattered abroad, he gave to the poor. Zadi, his righteousness is standing forever. Kuf, his horn is exalted with esteem. Resh, the wrong one see it and shall be vexed. Sheen, he gnashes his teeth and shall melt. Tav, the desire of the wrong ones does perish. Chapter 113 Praise Yah! Praise, O servant of Yahuwah! Praise the name of Yahuwah! Blessed be the name of Yahuwah now and forever, from the rising of the sun to its going down. The name of Yahuwah is praised. Yahuwah is high above all nations, His esteem above the heavens. Who is like Yahuwah our Elohim? Who is enthroned on high? He looks down on the heavens and in the earth. He raises the poor out of the dust, lifts the needy from a dunghill to make him sit with the nobles, with the nobles of his people, causing the barren woman to dwell in a house, a rejoicing mother of children. Praise Yah! Chapter 114 When Yisrael went out of Mitzrayim, the house of Jacob, from a people of strange language. Yehuda became his set-apart place, and Yisrael his rule. The sea saw it and fled. The Yarden turned back. The mountains skipped like rams, the little hills like lambs. Why was it, O sea, that you fled? O Yarden, that you turned back? O mountains, that you skipped like rams. O little hills like lambs. Tremble, O earth. From the face of the master, from the face of Elohav Yaakov, who turned the rock into a pool of water, the flint into a fountain of water. Chapter 115 Not to us, O Yahuwah, not to us, but to your name give esteem, for your loving commitment, for your truth. Why should the nation say, where now is their Elohim? But our Elohim is in the heavens. Whatever pleased him, he has done. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they do not speak. They have eyes, but they do not see. They have ears, but they do not hear. They have noses, but they do not smell. They have hands, but they do not handle. They have feet, but they do not walk. They make no sound through their throat. The one who makes them shall become like them, all who trust in them. 
O Yisrael, trust in Yahuwah. He is their help and their shield. O house of Aharon, trust in Yahuwah. He is their help and their shield. You who fear Yahuwah, trust in Yahuwah. He is their help and their shield. Yahuwah has remembered us. He blesses us. He blesses the house of Yisrael. He blesses the house of Aharon. He blesses those who fear Yahuwah, the small and the great. Yahuwah gives you increase more and more, you and your children. You are blessed by Yahuwah who made the heavens and the earth. The heavens are the heavens of Yahuwah, but he has given the earth to the children of men. The dead do not praise Yah, nor any going down to silence. But we, we bless Yah now and forever. Praise Yah. Chapter 116 I love Yahuwah because he has heard my voice, my pleas, because he has inclined his ear to me, and I shall call throughout my days. The cords of death were around me, and the pains of Sheol came upon me. I found distress and sorrow. Then I called upon the name of Yahuwah. O oh, Yahuwah, I pray to you, deliver my being. Yahuwah shows favor and is righteous, and our Elohim is compassionate. Yahuwah guards the simple. I was brought low, but he saved me. Return to your rest, O oh my being. For Yahuwah has treated you well. For you have delivered my being from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from falling. I shall walk before Yahuwah in the land of the living. I have believed, for I speak. I have been greatly afflicted. I said in my haste, all men are liars. What shall I return to Yahuwah? All his bounties are upon me. I lift up the cup of deliverance and call upon the name of Yahuwah. I pay my vows to Yahuwah, now in the presence of all his people. Precious in the eyes of Yahuwah is the death of his lovingly committed ones. O oh, Yahuwah, I am truly your servant. I am your servant, the son of your female servant. You have loosed my bonds. I slaughter you a slaughter of thanksgiving and call upon the name of Yahuwah. I pay my vows to Yahuwah in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of Yahuwah, in your midst, O Yerushalayim. Praise Yah. Chapter 117 Praise Yahuwah, all you nations. Extol him, all you peoples. For his loving commitment is mighty over us, and the truth of Yahuwah is everlasting. Praise Yah. Chapter 118 Oh, give thanks to Yahuwah, for he is good, because his loving commitment is everlasting. Let Yisrael now say, His loving commitment is everlasting. Let the house of Aharon now say, His loving commitment is everlasting. Let those who fear Yahuwah now say, His loving commitment is everlasting. I called on Yah in distress. Yah answered me in a broad place. Yahuwah is on my side. I do not fear what man does to me. Yahuwah is for me among those helping me. Therefore I look on those hating me. It is better to take refuge in Yahuwah than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in Yahuwah than to trust in princes. All the nations surrounded me. In the name of Yahuwah I shall cut them off. They surrounded me. Yes, they surrounded me. In the name of Yahuwah shall I cut them off. They surrounded me like bees. They were extinguished like burning thorns. In the name of Yahuwah, I shall cut them off. Pushing the enemy pushed me to fall. But Yahuwah helped me. Yah is my strength and song. And he has become my deliverance. The voice of rejoicing and deliverance is in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of Yahuwah is doing mightily. The right hand of Yahuwah is exalted. The right hand of Yahuwah acts mightily. 
Let me not die, but live and declare the works of Yah. Yah has punished me severely. Yah has punished me severely, but did not give me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I enter through them. I thank Yah. This is the gate of Yahuwah. The righteous enter through it. I thank you, for you have answered me and have become my deliverance. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This was from Yahuwah. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day Yahuwah has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I pray, O Yahuwah, please save us now. I pray, O Yahuwah, please send prosperity. Blessed is he who is coming in the name of Yahuwah. We shall bless you from the house of Yahuwah. Yahuwah is El, and he gave us light. Bind the festival offering with cords to the horns of the slaughter place. You are my El, and I praise you. You are my Elohim, I exalt you. Give thanks to Yahuwah, for he is good, for his loving commitment is everlasting. Chapter 119 Aleph Blessed are the perfect in the way who walk in the Torah of Yahuwah. Blessed are those who observe his witnesses, who seek him with all their heart. Yes, they shall do no unrighteousness. They shall walk in his ways. You have commanded us to guard your orders diligently. Oh, that my ways were established to guard your laws. Then I would not be ashamed. When I look into all your commands, I thank you with uprightness of heart. When I learn the right rulings of your righteousness, I guard your laws. Oh, do not leave me entirely. Bet. How would a young man cleanse his path? to guard it according to your word. I have sought you with all my heart. Let me not stray from your commands. I have treasured up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Yahuwah. Teach me your laws. With my lips I have recounted all the right rulings of your mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of your witnesses as over all riches. I meditate on your orders and regard your ways. I delight myself in your laws. I do not forget your word. Gimel. Do good to your servant. Let me live and I guard your word. Open my eyes that I might see wonders from your Torah. I am a sojourner in the earth. Do not hide your commands from me. My being is crushed with longing for your right rulings at all times. You rebuked the proud, cursed ones who are straying from your commands. Remove from me reproach and scorn, for I have observed your witnesses. Though princes sat speaking against me, your servant meditates on your laws. Your witnesses also are my delight, my counselors. Dalit, my being has been clinging to the dust. Revive me according to your word. I have recounted my ways, and you answered me. Teach me your laws. Make me understand the way of your orders, that I might meditate on your wonders. My being has wept from grief. Strengthen me according to your word. Remove from me the way of falsehood, and favor me with your Torah. I have chosen the way of truth. Your right rulings I have held level. I have clung to your witnesses. O Yahuwah, do not put me to shame. I run the way of your commands, for you enlarge my heart. Hey, teach me, O Yahuwah, the way of your laws, and I observe it to the end. Make me understand that I might observe your Torah and guard it with all my heart. Make me walk in the path of your commands, for I have delighted in it. Incline my heart to your witnesses and not to own gain. Turn away my eyes from looking at falsehood and revive me in your way. Establish your word to your servant, which leads to the fear of you. Turn away my reproach, which I dread, for your right rulings are good. See, I have longed for your orders. 
Revive me in your righteousness. Vav. And let your loving commitments come to me, O Yahuwah, your deliverance according to your word, so that I answer my reprover, for I have trusted in your word, and do not take away from my mouth the word of truth entirely. For I have waited for your right rulings, that I might guard your Torah continually, forever and ever, that I might walk in a broad place, for I have sought your orders, that I might speak of your witnesses before sovereigns, and not be ashamed, that I might delight myself in your commands, which I have loved, that I might lift up my hands to your commands, which I have loved, while I meditate on your laws." Zion, remember the word to your servant on which you have caused me to wait. This is my comfort in my affliction, for your word has given me life. The proud have utterly scorned me. I did not turn aside from your Torah. I remembered your right rulings of old, O Yahuwah, and I comfort myself. Rage has seized me because of the wrong who forsake your Torah. Your laws have been my songs in the place of my sojournings. I have remembered your name in the night, O Yahuwah, and I guard your Torah. This has become mine, because I have observed your orders. Chet, you are my portion, O Yahuwah. You are my portion, O Yahuwah. I have promised to guard your words. I have sought your face with all my heart. Show me favor according to your word. I have thought upon my ways and turned my feet to your witnesses. I have hurried and do not delay to guard your commands. The cords of the wrong have surrounded me. Your Torah I have not forgotten. At midnight I rise to give thanks to you for your righteous right rulings. I am a companion of all who fear you and of those guarding your orders. O Yahuwah, your loving commitment has filled the earth. Teach me your laws. Tet. You have done good to your servant, O Yahuwah, according to your word. Teach me good sense and knowledge, for I have trusted in your commands. Before I was afflicted, I myself was going astray. But now I have guarded your word. You are good and do good. Teach me your laws. The proud have forged a lie against me. With all my heart, I observe your orders. Their heart has become like fat without feeling. I have delighted in your Torah. It was good for me that I was afflicted, that I might learn your laws. The Torah of your mouth is better to me than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Yod, your hands have made me and formed me. Make me understand that I might learn your commands. Those who fear you see me and rejoice, for I have waited for your word. I know, O Yahuwah, that your right rulings are righteous, and in trustworthiness you have afflicted me. Please let your loving commitment be for my comfort. According to your word to your servant, let your compassions come to me that I might live, for your Torah is my delight. Let the proud be put to shame, for with lies they perverted me. But I study your orders. Let those who fear you turn to me, and those who know your witnesses. Let my heart be perfect in your laws, so that I am not put to shame. Cough. For your deliverance my being has pined away, for I have waited for your word. My eyes have pined away for your word, saying, When would it comfort me? For I have become like a wineskin in the smoke. Your laws I have not forgotten. How many are the days of your servant? When do you execute right ruling on those who persecute me? The proud have dug pits for me, which is not according to your Torah. All your commands are trustworthy. They have persecuted me with lies. Help me. They almost made an end of me on earth. But I, I did not forsake your orders. Revive me according to your loving commitment, that I might guard the witness of your mouth. Lamed. Forever, O Yahuwah, your word stands firm in the heavens. Your trustworthiness is to all generations. 
You established the earth and its stands. According to your right rulings, they have stood to this day. For all are your servants. If your Torah had not been my delight, I would have perished in my affliction. Let me never forget your orders, for by them you have given me life. I am yours. Save me, for I have sought your orders. The wrong have waited for me to destroy me. I understand your witnesses. I have seen an end of all perfection. Your command is exceedingly broad. Mem, oh, how I love your Torah. It is my study all day long. Your commands make me wiser than my enemies, for it is ever before me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your witnesses are my study. I understand more than the aged, for I have observed your orders. I have restrained my feet from every evil way, that I might guard your word. I have not turned aside from your right rulings, for you yourself have taught me. How sweet to my taste has your word been, more than honey to my mouth. From your orders I get understanding. Therefore, I have hated every false way. Noon, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn and I confirm to guard your righteous right rulings. My life is in my hand continually and your Torah I have not forgotten. The wrong have laid a snare for me, but I have not strayed from your orders. Your witnesses are my inheritance forever, for they are the joy of my heart. I have inclined my heart to do your laws forever to the end. Samak, I have hated doubting thoughts, but I have loved your Torah. You are my hiding place and my shield. I have waited for your word. Turn away from me, you evildoers, for I observe the commands of my Elohim. Support me according to your word, that I might live and put me not to shame because of my expectation. Sustain me that I might be saved and always look to your laws. You have made light of all those who stray from your laws, for falsehood is their deceit. You have made to cease all the wrong of the earth like dross. Therefore, I have loved your witnesses My flesh has trembled for fear of you, and I am in awe of your right rulings. Ayan, I have done right ruling and righteousness. Leave me not to my oppressors. Guarantee your servants well-being. Let not the proud oppress me. My eyes have pined away for your deliverance and for the word of your righteousness. Do with your servant according to your loving commitment, and teach me your laws. I am your servant. Make me understand that I might know your witnesses. It is time for Yahuwah to act, for they have broken your Torah. Therefore, I have loved your commands more than gold, even fine gold. Therefore, all your orders I count as right. I have hated every false way. Pay. Your witnesses are wonders, so my being observes them. The opening of your words gives light. Give understanding to the simple, for I have opened my mouth and panted, for I have longed for your commands. Turn to me and show me favor according to your right ruling toward those who love your name. Establish my footsteps by your word and let no wickedness have rule over me. Redeem me from the man of oppression that I might guard your orders. Make your face shine upon your servant and teach me your laws. Streams of water have run down my eyes because they did not guard your Torah. Zadi, righteous are you, O Yahuwah, and your right rulings are straight. You have commanded your witnesses in righteousness and truth exceedingly. My ardor has consumed me, for my adversaries have forgotten your words. Your word is tried exceedingly, and your servant has loved it. I am small and despised. I have not forgotten your orders. Your righteousness is righteousness forever, and your Torah is truth. 
distress and anguish have found me. Your commands are my delight. The righteousness of your witnesses is forever. Make me understand that I might live. Kof. I have called with all my heart. Answer me, O Yahuwah. I observe your laws. I have called upon you. Save me that I might guard your witnesses. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I have waited for your word. My eyes have gone before the night watches to study your word. Hear my voice according to your loving commitment. O Yahuwah, revive me according to your right ruling. Those who pursue mischief have drawn near. They have been far from your Torah. You are near, O Yahuwah, and all your commands are truth. Of old I have known your witnesses, that you have founded them forever. Resh, see my affliction and deliver me, for I have not forgotten your Torah. Plead my cause and redeem me. Revive me according to your word. Deliverance is far from the wrong ones, for they have not sought your laws. Your compassions are many, O Yahuwah. Revive me according to your right rulings. My persecutors and adversaries are many. I have not turned aside from your witnesses. I saw traitors and was grieved because they did not guard your word. See how I have loved your orders. Yahuwah, revive me according to your loving commitment. The sum of your word is truth and all your righteous right rulings are forever. Sheen. Rulers have persecuted me without a cause, but at your word my heart stood in awe. I rejoice at your word as one who finds great treasure. I have hated falsehood and loathed it. Your Torah I have loved. I have praised you seven times a day because of your righteous right rulings. Great peace have those loving your Torah, and for them there is no stumbling block. Yahuwah, I have waited for your deliverance, and I have done your commands. My being has guarded your witnesses, and I love them exceedingly. I have guarded your orders and your witnesses, for all my ways are before you. Tav, my cry comes before you, O Yahuwah. Make me understand according to your word. Let my prayer come before you. Deliver me according to your word. My lips pour forth praise, for you teach me your laws. My tongue sings of your word, for all your commands are righteousness. Your hand is a help to me, for I have chosen your orders. I have longed for your deliverance, O Yahuwah, and your Torah is my delight. My being lives, and it praises you, and your right rulings help me. I have strayed like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, for I have not forgotten your commands. Chapter 120 In my distress I cried to Yahuwah, and he answered me, Yahuwah, deliver my being from false lips, from a treacherous tongue. What would one give to you, or what would one do to you, O treacherous tongue? Sharp arrows of a mighty man with coals of the broomwood. Woe to me, for I have sojourned in Meshech. I have dwelt among the tents of Kedar. My being has dwelt too long with him who hates peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for fighting. Chapter 121 I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from Yahuwah, maker of the heavens and earth. He does not allow your foot to be moved. He who watches over you does not slumber. See, he who is guarding Yisrael neither slumbers nor sleeps. Yahuwah is your guard. Yahuwah is your shade at your right hand. The sun does not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. Yahuwah guards you from all evil. He guards your being. Yahuwah guards your going out and your coming in now and forever. Chapter 122 I was glad when they said to me, Let us go into the house of Yahuwah. Our feet have been standing within your gates, O Yerushalayim. 
Jerusalem is built as a city that is bound together, where the tribes have come up, the tribes of Yah, a witness to Yisrael, to give thanks to the name of Yahuwah. For there the thrones of right ruling were set, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Let those who love you be at rest. Peace be within your walls. Rest in your citadels. For the sake of my brothers and companions, I say peace be within you. For the sake of the house of Yahuwah our Elohim, I seek your good. Chapter 123 I shall lift up my eyes unto you who dwell in the heavens. See as the eyes of servants are toward the hand of their masters, as the eyes of a female servant are toward the hand of her mistress. So are our eyes toward Yahuwah our Elohim until he shows favor to us. Show favor to us, O Yahuwah, show favor to us. For we are exceedingly filled with mockery. Our being is exceedingly filled with the scoffing of those who are at ease with the mockery of the proud. Chapter 124 If it had not been Yahuwah who was on our side, let Yisrael now say, If it had not been Yahuwah who was on our side, when men rose against us, then they would have swallowed us alive in their burning rage against us. Then the waters would have overwhelmed us, the stream would have gone over our being, Then the proud waters would have gone over our being. Blessed be Yahuwah, who did not give us as prey to their teeth. Our being has escaped like a bird from the snare of the trappers. The snare was broken and we have escaped. Our help is the name of Yahuwah, maker of the heavens and earth. Chapter 125 Those who trust in Yahuwah are like Mount Zion. It is not shaken. It remains forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so Yahuwah surrounds His people, now and forever. For the scepter of wrongness shall not rest on the land allotted to the righteous, lest the righteous stretch forth their hands to unrighteousness. Do good, O Yahuwah, to those who are good, and to those who are upright in their hearts. But those who turn aside to their crooked ways, Yahuwah shall lead them away, with the workers of wickedness. Peace be upon Yisrael. Chapter 126 When Yahuwah turns back the captivity of Zion, we shall be like dreamers. Then our mouth shall be filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then shall they say among the nations, Yahuwah has done great deeds for them. Yahuwah shall do great deeds for us. We shall be glad. Turn back our captivity, O Yahuwah, like the streams in the south. Those sowing in tears shall reap with songs of joy. He who goes on and weeps, bearing seed for sowing, shall indeed come in with rejoicing, bearing his sheaves. Chapter 127 If Yahuwah does not build the house, its builders have labored in vain. If Yahuwah does not guard the city, The watchman has stayed awake in vain. In vain do you rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of toil. So he gives his beloved sleep. Look, children are an inheritance from Yahuwah. The fruit of the womb is the reward. As arrows in the hand of a mighty man, so are the children of one's youth. Blessed is the man who has filled his quiver with them. They are not ashamed when they speak with their enemies in the gate. Chapter 128 Blessed are all who fear Yahuwah, who walk in His ways. You shall eat the labor of your hands. Be blessed and let it be well with you. Let your wife be as a fruit-bearing vine within your house, your sons like olive plants all around your table. Look, so shall the man be blessed who fears Yahuwah. Yahuwah shall bless you out of Zion and let you see the good of Jerusalem all the days of your life and let you see your children's children. Peace be upon Yisrael. Chapter 129 Often they have distressed me from my youth. Let Yisrael now say, Often they have distressed me from my youth. 
but they have not overcome me. The plowers plowed on my back. They made their furrows long. Yahuwah is righteous. He has cut the cords of the wrong in two. Let all those who hate Zion be put to shame and turned back. Let them be as the grass on the housetops, which withers before it grows up. That shall not fill the reaper's hand, nor the sheaves fill the binder's bosom. And those who pass by shall not say, The blessing of Yahuwah be upon you. We have blessed you in the name of Yahuwah. Chapter 130 Out of the depths I have cried to you, O Yahuwah. O Yahuwah, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my prayers. O Yah, if you should watch crookedness, O Yahuwah, who would stand? But with you there is forgiveness that you might be feared. I look to Yahuwah. My being has looked for his words I have waited. My being looks to Yahuwah more than those watching for mourning, watching for mourning. O Yisrael, wait for Yahuwah. For with Yahuwah there is loving commitment, and with him is much redemption. For he shall redeem Yisrael from all his crookednesses. Chapter 131 O Yahuwah, my heart has not been proud, nor have my eyes been haughty, neither have I concerned myself with great matters, nor with those too wondrous for me. Have I not calmed and kept my being silent, like one weaned by its mother? My being is like one weaned. O Yisrael, wait for Yahuwah, now and forever. Chapter 132 O Yahuwah, remember David, all his afflictions, how he swore to Yahuwah, vowed to the mighty one of Jacob, not to enter into my dwelling house, not to get into my bed, nor to give sleep to my eyes or slumber to my eyelids, until I find a place for Yahuwah, a dwelling place for the mighty one of Jacob. See, we heard of it in Ephrathath. We found it in the fields of the forest. Let us go into his dwelling places. Let us bow ourselves at his footstool. Arise, O Yahuwah, to your place of rest, you and the ark of your strength. Let your priests put on righteousness, and your lovingly committed ones shout for joy. For the sake of your servant David, do not turn away the face of your anointed one. Yahuwah has sworn in truth to David. He does not turn from it. Of the fruit of your body I set upon your throne. If your sons guard my covenant and my witnesses that I teach them, their son shall sit upon your throne forever. For Yahuwah has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his dwelling. This is my place of rest forever. Here I dwell, for I have desired it. I greatly bless her provision. I satisfy her poor with bread. And I put deliverance on her priests, and her lovingly committed ones sing for joy. There I make the horn of David grow. I shall set up a lamp for my anointed one. I shall put shame on his enemies, while on him his diadem shall shine. Chapter 133 See how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity, like the precious oil on the head, running down on the beard, the beard of Aharon running down on the collar of his robes like the dew of Hermon that comes down on the mountains of Zion. For there Yahuwah commanded the blessing, life forever. Chapter 134 Come, bless Yahuwah, all you servants of Yahuwah, who are standing in the house of Yahuwah by night. Lift up your hands in the set-apart place and bless Yahuwah, Yahuwah, maker of the heavens and earth, does bless you from Zion. Chapter 135 Praise Yah! Praise, you servants of Yahuwah, who are standing in the house of Yahuwah, in the courts of the house of our Elohim. Praise Yah, for Yahuwah is good. Sing praises to his name, for it is pleasant. For Yah has chosen Yaakov for himself, Yisrael for his treasured possession. For I know that Yahuwah is great, and our master is above all mighty ones. 
Yahuwah has done whatever pleased him in the heavens and in the earth, in the seas and in the depths, causing vapors to go up from the ends of the earth. He made lightning for the rain, bringing forth wind from his treasuries. Who struck the firstborn of Mitzrayim from man to beast? He sent signs and wonders into your midst, O Mitzrayim, on Pharaoh and on all his servants, who struck many nations and killed mighty sovereigns, even Sihon, sovereign of the Amorites, and Og, sovereign of Bashan, and all the reigns of Canaan. And he gave their land as an inheritance, an inheritance to Yisrael, his people. O Yahuwah, your name is forever. O Yahuwah, your remembrance to all generations. For Yahuwah rightly rules his people and has compassion on his servants. The idols of the nations are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they do not speak. They have eyes, but they do not see. They have ears, but they do not hear. And there is no breath in their mouth. Those making them become like them, everyone who is trusting in them. Bless Yahuwah, O house of Yisrael. Bless Yahuwah, O house of Aharon. Bless Yahuwah, O house of Levi. You who fear Yahuwah, bless Yahuwah. Blessed from Zion, Yahuwah be, who dwells in Yerushalayim. Praise Yah. Chapter 136 Give thanks to Yahuwah, for He is good, for His loving commitment is everlasting. Give thanks to the Elohim of mighty ones, for His loving commitment is everlasting. Give thanks to the Master of masters, for His loving commitment is everlasting. To Him who alone does great wonders, for His loving commitment is everlasting. To Him who by wisdom made the heavens, for his loving commitment is everlasting. To him who spread the earth on the waters, for his loving commitment is everlasting. To him who made great lights, for his loving commitment is everlasting. The sun to rule by day, for his loving commitment is everlasting. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his loving commitment is everlasting. To him who struck Mitzrayim in their firstborn, for his loving commitment is everlasting and brought out Yisrael from their midst. For his loving commitment is everlasting with a strong hand and with an outstretched arm. For his loving commitment is everlasting to him who split apart the sea of reeds. For his loving commitment is everlasting and made Yisrael pass through the midst of it. For his loving commitment is everlasting but shook off Pharaoh and his army in the sea of reeds, for his loving commitment is everlasting. To him who led his people through the wilderness, for his loving commitment is everlasting. To him who struck great sovereigns, for his loving commitment is everlasting. And killed mighty sovereigns, for his loving commitment is everlasting. Even Sihon, sovereign of the Amorites, for his loving commitment is everlasting, and Og, sovereign of Bashan, for his loving commitment is everlasting, and gave their land as an inheritance. For his loving commitment is everlasting, an inheritance to Yisrael his servant, for his loving commitment is everlasting, who remembered us in our humiliation. For his loving commitment is everlasting, and rescued us from our adversaries, for his loving commitment is everlasting, who gives food to all flesh. For his loving commitment is everlasting. Give thanks to the El of the heavens, for his loving commitment is everlasting. Chapter 137 By the rivers of Babel, there we sat down and we wept as we remembered Zion. We hung our lyres upon the willows in the midst of it, for there our captors asked us for the words of a song, and our plunderers for rejoicing, saying, Sing to us a song of Zion. How could we sing the song of Yahuwah on foreign soil? If I forget you, O Yerushalayim, let my right hand forget. Let my tongue cleave to my palate. If I do not remember you, if I do not exalt Yerushalayim above my chief joy, 
Remember, O Yahuwah, against the sons of Edom, the day of Yerushalayim, who said, Lay it bare, lay it bare to its foundation. O daughter of Babel, who are to be destroyed. Blessed is he who repays you your deed, what you did to us. Blessed is he who shall take and dash your little ones against the rock. Chapter 138 I give you thanks with all my heart before the mighty ones. I sing praise to you. I bow myself toward your set-apart Hekal and give thanks to your name for your loving commitment and your truth. For you have made great your word, your name above all. On the day I called, you did answer me. You made me bold with strength in my being. Let all the sovereigns of the earth give thanks to you, O Yahuwah, when they shall hear the words of your mouth. And let them sing of the ways of Yahuwah, for great is the esteem of Yahuwah. Though Yahuwah is exalted, he looks on the humble, but the proud he perceives from a distance. Though I walk in the midst of distress, you revive me. You stretch out your hand against the wrath of my enemies, and your right hand saves me. Yahuwah does perfect for me. O Yahuwah, your loving commitment is everlasting. Do not forsake the works of your hands. Chapter 139 O Yahuwah, you have searched me and know me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You understand my thought from afar. You sift my path and my lying down. You know well all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but see, O Yahuwah, you know it all. You have closed me in behind and before and laid your hand upon me. Knowledge too wondrous for me. It is high. I am unable to reach it. Where would I go from your spirit? Or where would I flee from your face? If I go up into the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, see, you are there. I take the wings of the morning. I dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea. There, too, your hand would lead me, and your right hand hold me. If I say darkness shall cover me, then night would be light to me. Even darkness is not dark for you, but night shines as the day. As is darkness, so is light. For you, you possessed my kidneys. You have covered me in my mother's womb. I give thanks to you, for I am awesomely and wondrously made. Wondrous are your works, and my being knows it well. My bones were not concealed from you when I was shaped in a hidden place, knit together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body, and in your book all of them were written, the days they were formed, while none was among them. And how precious are your thoughts to me, O El! How great has been the sum of them! If I should count them, they would be more than the sand. When I wake up, I am still with you. Oh, that you would kill the wrong, O Eloah. Depart from me, therefore, men of bloodshed. They speak against you wickedly. Bring your enemies to naught. O Yahuwah, do I not hate them who hate you? And do I not loathe those who rise up against you? With a complete hatred, I hate them. They have become my enemies. Search me, O El, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if an idolatrous way is in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Chapter 140 Rescue me, O Yahuwah, from men of evil. Preserve me from men of violence, who have devised evils in their hearts. They stir up conflicts all day long. They sharpen their tongues like a snake. The poison of cobras is under their lips. Selah. Guard me, O Yahuwah, from the hands of the wrong. Guard me from a man of violence, who has schemed to trip up my steps. The proud have hidden a trap for me and cords. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set snares for me. Selah. I said to Yahuwah, You are my El. Hear the voice of my prayers, O Yahuwah. O Master Yahuwah my saving strength. You have screened my head in the day of battle. Do not grant the desires of the wrong, O Yahuwah. Do not promote his scheme. Selah. 
Those who surround me lift up their head. The trouble of their lips covers them. Let burning coals fall on them. Let them be made to fall into the fire, into deep pits. Let them not rise again. Let not a slanderer be established in the earth. Let evil hunt the man of violence speedily. I have known that Yahuwah maintains the cause of the afflicted, the right ruling of the poor. Only let the righteous give thanks to your name. Let the straight ones dwell in your presence. Chapter 141 Yahuwah, I have cried out to you. Hasten to me. Give ear to my voice when I cry out to you. Let my prayer be prepared before you as incense and lifting up of my hands as the evening offering. O Yahuwah, set a guard for my mouth. Watch over the door of my lips. Let not my heart be inclined to evil, to practice deeds of wrongness, with men working wickedness. And let me not eat of their delicacies. Let the righteous ones smite me, or reprove me in loving commitment. It is oil on my head. Let my head not refuse it. My prayer is still against their evil deeds. Their judges have been thrown down by the sides of the rock. But they have heard my words, for they have been pleasant. Our bones are scattered at the mouth of Sheol, as when one plows and breaks up the earth. But my eyes are upon you, O Master Yahuwah. In you I take refuge. Do not pour out my life. Guard me from the clutches of the trap they have laid for me and from the snares of the workers of wickedness. Let the wrong fall into their own nets while I pass by. Chapter 142 I cry out to Yahuwah with my voice. I pray to Yahuwah with my voice. I pour out my complaint before him. I declare before him my distress. When my spirit grew faint within me, then you know my path. In the way in which I walk, they have hidden a trap for me. Look to the right hand and see. And no one is concerned for me. No refuge remains to me. No one inquires after my being. I cried out to you, O Yahuwah. I said, you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Listen to my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are too strong for me. Bring my being out of prison to give thanks to your name. Let the righteous gather around me, because you deal kindly with me. Chapter 143 Hear my prayer, O Yahuwah. Give ear to my pleadings in your trustworthiness. Answer me in your righteousness, and do not enter into right ruling with your servant. For before you no one living is in the right. For the enemy has pursued my being. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in dark places like the dead of old. Therefore my spirit grew faint within me. My heart within me is stunned. I remembered the days of old. I meditated on all your works. I ponder on the work of your hands. I have spread out my hands to you. My being is like a thirsty land for you. Selah. Hasten, answer me, O Yahuwah. My spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me, lest I be like those going down into the pit. Let me hear your loving commitment in the morning, for in you I have put my trust. Let me know the way in which I should walk, for I have lifted up my being to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Yahuwah. I take refuge in you. Teach me to do your good pleasure, for you are my Elohim. Let your good spirit lead me in the land of straightness for the sake of your name. O Yahuwah, revive me in your righteousness. Bring my being out of distress, and in your loving commitment cut off my enemies and destroy all the adversaries of my life, for I am your servant." Chapter 144 Blessed be Yahuwah my rock, who is teaching my hands for fighting, my fingers for battle, my loving commitment and my stronghold, my tower and my deliverer, my shield in whom I take refuge, who is subduing peoples under me. Yahuwah, what is man that you should know him? Son of man that you should think of him. 
Man is like a breath, his days like a passing shadow. Incline your heavens, O Yahuwah, and come down. Touch the mountains that they smoke. Send forth lightning and scatter them. Send forth your arrows and confuse them. Send forth your hand from above. Rescue me and deliver me out of great waters. From the hand of foreigners, whose mouth has spoken falsehood, and whose right hand is a right hand of lies. O Elohim, a new song I sing to you. On a harp of ten strings I sing praises to you. Who gives deliverance to sovereigns, who rescues David his servant from the evil sword. Rescue me and deliver me from the hand of foreigners, whose mouth has spoken falsehood and whose right hand is a right hand of lies. Because our sons are like plants, grown up in their youth. Our daughters like hewn stones, polished like a palace building. Let our storehouses be filled, supplying all kinds. Let our sheep bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our fields. Our cattle well laden, no breaking in, no going out, and no crying in our streets. Blessed are the people who have it so. Blessed are the people whose Elohim is Yahuwah. Chapter 145 I exalt you, my Elohim, O sovereign, and bless your name forever and ever. All day long I bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is Yahuwah, and greatly to be praised. And his greatness is unsearchable. Generation after generation praises your works, and they declare your mighty acts. I declare the esteemed splendor of your excellency, and the matters of your wondrous works. And they speak of the might of your awesome acts. And I recount your greatness. They send forth the remembrance of your great goodness, and they sing of your righteousness. Yahuwah shows favor and is compassionate, patient, and in great loving commitment. Yahuwah is good to all, and he has compassion on all his works. All your works give thanks to you, O Yahuwah, and your lovingly committed ones bless you. They speak of the esteem of your reign and talk of your might to make known to the sons of men his mighty acts and the esteemed splendor of his reign. Your reign is an everlasting reign and your rule is throughout all generations. Yahuwah is supporting all who are falling and raising up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you for expectantly and you are giving them their food in its season opening your hand and satisfying the desire of all that live. Yahuwah is righteous in all his ways and lovingly committed in all his works. Yahuwah is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. He does the desire of those who fear him, and he hears their cry and saves them. Yahuwah preserves all those loving him, but all the wrong ones he destroys. My mouth speaks the praise of Yahuwah, and let all flesh bless his set-apart name forever and ever. Chapter 146 Praise Yah! Praise Yahuwah, O my being! While I live, I praise Yahuwah. I sing praises to my Elohim while I exist. Do not put your trust in princes, in a son of man in whom is no deliverance. His spirit goes out, he returns to his earth. In that day his plants perish. Blessed is he who has the El of Yaakov for his help, whose expectancy is in Yahuwah his Elohim, maker of the heavens and earth, the sea and all that is in them, who is guarding truth forever, doing right ruling for the oppressed, giving bread to the hungry. Yahuwah releases those who are bound. Yahuwah opens the eyes of the blind. Yahuwah raises those who are bowed down. Yahuwah loves the righteous. Yahuwah guards the sojourners. He lifts up the fatherless and widow, but the way of the wrong ones, he turns upside down. Yahuwah reigns forever, O Zion, your Elohim to all generations. Praise Yah. Chapter 147 Praise Yah. 
For it is good to sing praises to our Elohim. For it is pleasant. Praise is fitting. Yahuwah builds up Yerushalayim. He gathers the outcasts of Yisrael. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He appoints the number of the stars. He gives names to all of them. Great is our master and mighty in power. There is no limit to his understanding. Yahuwah lifts up the meek ones. He throws the wrong ones down to the ground. Respond to Yahuwah with thanksgiving. Sing praises on a lyre to our Elohim, who covers the heavens with clouds, who prepares rain for the earth, who makes grass to sprout on the mountains, giving to the beast its food, to the young ravens that cry. He does not delight in the strength of the horse. He takes no pleasure in the legs of a man. Yahuwah takes pleasure in those who fear him, in those who wait for his loving commitment. Extol Yahuwah, O Yerushalayim. Praise your Elohim, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children in your midst, who makes peace in your borders. He satisfies you with the finest wheat, who sends out his command to the earth. His word runs very speedily, who gives snow like wool. He scatters the frost like ashes, throwing out his hail like pieces. Who does stand before his cold? He sends out his word and melts them. He causes his wind to blow, the waters flow, declaring his words to Jacob, his laws and his right rulings to Israel. He has not done so with any nation, and they have not known his right rulings. Praise Yah! Chapter 148 Praise Yah! Praise Yahuwah from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights. Praise Him, all His messengers. Praise Him, all His hosts. Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, all you stars of light. Praise Him, heavens of heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of Yahuwah, for He commanded and they were created, and He established them forever and ever. He gave a law and they pass not beyond. Praise Yahuwah from the earth, you great creatures in all the depths, fire and hail, snow and clouds, stormy wind that does his word, the mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild beasts and all cattle, creeping creatures and winged birds, sovereigns of the earth and all peoples, rulers and all judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, old men and children. Let them praise the name of Yahuwah, for his name alone is exalted. His splendor is above the earth and heavens. He also lifts up the horn of his people, the praise of all his lovingly committed ones, of the children of Israel, a people near to him. Praise Yah! Chapter 149 Praise Yah. Sing to Yahuwah a new song, His praise in an assembly of lovingly committed ones. Let Yisrael rejoice in their Maker. Let the children of Zion exult in their Sovereign. Let them praise His name in a dance. Let them sing praises to Him with tambourine and lyre. For Yahuwah takes pleasure in His people. He embellishes the meek ones with deliverance. Let the lovingly committed ones exalt in esteem. Let them sing aloud on their beds. Let the exaltation of El be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance on the nations, punishments on the people, to bind their sovereigns with chains and their nobles with iron bands, to execute on them the written right ruling, a splendor it is for all his lovingly committed ones. Praise Yah! Chapter 150 Praise Yah! Praise El in His set-apart place. Praise Him in His mighty expanse. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Praise Him with the blowing of a shofar. Praise Him with the harp and lyre. Praise Him with tambourine and dance. Praise Him with stringed instruments and flutes. 
Praise Him with sounding cymbals. Praise Him with resounding cymbals. Let all that has breath praise Yah. Praise Yah.